where we're going to talk. Like, this you is the killer know, bean podcast. Bonnie, 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 you are look. not prepared for me to go the fuck off about Killer Bean. <laughs> look, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, we need to get Moist Critical on the show to do one introduction. He did such a good job in Killer Bean episode two. I still don't know what that is. That Mark, you need to alleviate that. No, right no, no, now. no, Gaijin, Gaijin, no, no. We need to film. We need, we need to film his reaction on Twitch. Oh, now I'm really scared. Yeah, there no, we go. No, there we no, go. no, you have to see it. You have to see it now. I'm, I'm I, I, was, I was down for seeing it before, but with this whole stress of having to film my reaction, now I'm concerned. <laughs> no, so, so, oh, there's no the, concern. No concern whatsoever. My, my favorite stream Zito has ever done was his live reaction to the Killer Bean movie. And I told him the other day, I'm like, man, I wish that was archived somewhere because I badly want to see it. Uh, <laughs> you know what? No, this is fine because then Mark would have been able to have cheated and seen my reaction. No. Ah, uh, that's true. Yes, because I'm definitely that dedicated to spoiling myself. Yes. Oh, Zito. <laughs> Zito, Trust important. You will be. Important question, Zito. What class and race is Killer Bean? Uh, class, bean. And, race, and bean. 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 <laughs> Dude, it's, just, no. it's what you said just backwards. Race, bean, <laughs> class, killer. 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 You know, what's, you know what's amazing for me is that every day I'm living a killer bean life. Do you, do you have golden you dragon guns? No, I just if a bean if I eat a bean, I want to die. <laughs> my stomach doesn't like it. I got no the the best the 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 entire movie like is pinnacle just 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 completely its highest point is when he says decaffeinated. Oh my god! Oh Can't my god! Murder! Murder! That, like that, 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 that straight faced. Now I don't need to watch, watch it because you just did it. <laughs> No, th this is how much you des you you must crave, you must desire, you must know all that is Killer Bean. Dude, the grenade, <laughs> Zito, bean. Zito, gr grenade underhand. Yes, but also remember, oh. once once they watch the Killer Bean bit, they'll be chaffed to know that Killer Bean is getting his own indie game roguelike. And it's fantastic. Doesn't he have and a it side scroller? Looks fucking awesome. Anyway, Connor, you want to take us away <laughs> with our introduction? Well, uh, let me put this in the language you'll understand. Uh, oh, welcome no! to the unexpectable. <laughs> welcome to the unexpectables, everybody. Yeah, I understand. Oh, Connor, <laughs> no! Connor, you scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> yeah, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, welcome like... to the unexpectables, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we're here. We're we're back at it for another week. Uh yeah, uh, I suppose we should go down the horn and introduce ourselves, starting with Gaijin Goomba. Where can they find you and what are you Ooh. up to? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, no H. Uh, we just wrapped up uh, Crab Champions. I'm going <gasps> to be waiting for DLC. Dude, it's so good. It's I want cool. you to imagine money if Krabius had double jumps and access <laughs> to heavy weapons. Yes. You're not saying, you don't know if he doesn't have that already. Um, you said Black Powder he technology is doesn't exist in this world. That's fair, actually. So, there's cannons. cannons. Hoisted. Hoisted. Anyway, <laughs> uh, been doing a whole lot of that. I'm probably going to jump back into Pokemon Bushido soon. I also heard there's a big giant DLC coming out for uh, Tokyo Ghostwire. I'm really curious yeah. to how that works because that, that game wasn't bad, but it was kind of old in that it just it was just a hunt of go do shit and it was eh. So, I'm hoping they change some stuff up and. Uh, God, I Joto, I think Joto Gumo is the big bad boss. I'm like, yes. Um, hey guys. Yes. Yeah. Uh, World of Horror got an update just today. I know. I saw. I might have to do that too. There's a lot of good shit out there. Um, I do have a Japan trip coming up, so I'm I'm trying to get my my weeb juices flowing again, getting ready for that. Uh, but aside from that. I dropped the video on Sunday. If you are a fan of Demon Slayer, aka Kimetsu no Yaiba, or, yes. Sorry. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to do a Witch Ninja on Tengen Uzui. I finally did it, and it's one of my favorite bait and switch episodes I've ever put together. So go check that out if if you are a fan of ninjas anime or uh, demons in the slang thereof. It's really good. Okay, my good. wives uh, are trash. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? What are you up to? 
You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Uh, I got a haircut yesterday. Nice. Neat. I, I lost like three pounds, and I'm not I joking. I feel that. <laughs> Damn. I'm not joking. Did you I your literally hairdresser got on look... the scale afterwards and was like, oh, oh okay. Did your, hair, did your hairdresser look at like the hair on the floor and go, gosh, you could make a whole other animal out of that? No, not this time. I've gotten it like every other haircut, but not this time. <laughs> not this time. Look at that. Um, build a house with that. Other than that, it's been a busy week for me. I'm doing a lot of directing this week, so nothing Ooh. I can announce just yet. Uh, but some cool stuff down the line. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll have more exciting things to announce later, like literally after this weekend. I just can't announce them yet, unfortunately. Um, but that is where my streams have been. I've been busy, very busy directing and doing other things. Uh, apologies. Uh, we'll maybe, maybe have a stream next week. Uh, if I do, it'll be, like, Monday. It's a big maybe. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, but that's it. That's me. Right on. Zito, where can they find you? What are you up to? Not Usually. streaming from now until <laughs> next Friday. Moving <laughs> boy. I am... Moving back to the place of my birth, New York City, on Sunday. And my stuff does not come back up from Texas until the following, like, Tuesday or Wednesday. So, all of next week is most likely going to get devoted to me settling my ass back in on the East Coast, having copious amounts of bacon, egg, and cheeses, as is my God-given right, and having decent pizza, and regaining my strength so I can stream once more. Like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Hell yeah. But as of right now, I'm an anxious fucking mess! Fair enough. Uh... Monty, where can they find you? What are you up to? Oh my god. <laughs> I... I want to apologize to everybody who watches my streams. I'm very, very deeply sorry that I have not been streaming as of late. I have been absolutely swamped in April. I have had to do my taxes. I had my driving exam. And then this, you'll see this. Um, so I've unfortunately had to prioritize other things. But I'm good to go now. I can stream a shit ton now. And I hope to do so. If streams get canceled, I want to stream Pokemon. I want to stream a ton. I want to stream Resident Evil 4 Remake with Arkolf so badly. So, so badly. Um, I'm probably going to do for Resident Evil 4 Remake. I want to do like an event out of it. So I'm probably going to get like, you know, if like we do or like people donate a certain amount, like, oh, I'll drink kombucha for the first time or like eat a hot pepper, like stuff like that. Something fun because I'm I really miss streaming and I'm really, really, really sorry that I have not been streaming on the regular. I will get back to it. I thank you so much for your patience and your, your support despite that. Um, but you'll understand, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you can also find my YouTube at Monty Glue uh, and as well as uh, my Twitter and, and everything else, you know, but Sorry, thank you. Streams hopefully tomorrow. I don't know. I might pass out after this session. We'll see. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully more streams throughout the week. Thank you so much. That's that's it for me. Thumbs up. Hello. Right on. Uh, okay. We've got Edward Bosco. Where can we find you? And what are you up to? Bulls win! I got nothing! Bulls win! Bulls win! Nice. We'll see you in Miami nice. on Friday! Beep, beep! Drive home safe! <laughs> and there you have it. The Bulls won? Uh, the, they did, in fact, win. Uh, congratulations, Michael Jordan. Uh, as for me, they can find me um. on Twitter, Twitch, and <laughs> YouTube.com slash Distortion Double, or stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, yeah, we're... I, I think... We're in the process of of finally wrapping up judgment. So I don't I don't think we're uh, we've got too much left in the game. So yes. Uh, also playing more Deus Ex. That's been a lot of fun as well. Uh, it will stop being fun when I move to Invisible War. <laughs> uh, but that is in the future, and this is the present. 
Uh, yes, uh, the Invisible War, the Warlords of Draenor edition of Dates. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, <laughs> uh, ay, 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 Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey. Nine, nine, nine. Nine nine John Madden football. Snacky. <laughs> uh, <Take> snacky. <laughs> you, uh, speaking of uh uh speaking of uh, here comes another ad break earthquake. This episode of brought uh, of the Unexpectables is brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice. Do things. Oh, you can lose dice. Right. You know what? I'll just swap out my dice. I've been using the same dice for such a long time. I think it's time. Oh to shit! Play. Here comes the rainbow dice. Rainbow. Now we die. I couldn't Royal find them. I, 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 I actually, I actually found those recently. Actually, I, I couldn't find them. Hey, the there we time. go. It turns gay out dice. I turn... Sorry, gay dice. Gay dice. I'm gonna keep the lies dice though, because they're really, they're really pleasant. Yeah, the lies aspect dice available now on dieharddice.com. Uh, the official Unexpectables dice set. Uh, it comes with all your standard dice. You got percentiles, you got a D4, you got a D6, you got a D8, you got a D12. And of course, you got a D20 as well. The whole shebang. Uh, and you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order uh, if, if you decide to shop at dieharddice.com and buy some Lies Aspect dice. Available now. Yeah. Also... And also, if it does well, she, well, you can maybe make some new. Yeah, ones. maybe make some more. Who knows? Yeah. Because so, shout out the person who's like, "Why are these so simple?" Because I was scared and I wanted to make something simple. Because <laughs> like, oh, these are white. Uh. <laughs> like also, we thought it'd be like a really nice stepping stone, and, and also then we can move towards more complex things, not just immediately they're be also, like, "Hello, diehard no, guys, make the most no, complex they're, thing." Ever. They're, they're like, oh, these are white. No, they're porcelain. White. They are porcelain. It's the, they're also yeah, it's the kind really of it's nice. the kind of white. It's the like, kind of white that'll make clean. Christian Bale sweat and then drop them and be like, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> um, why does my twenty sided die only have twenty sides? <laughs> well, guy, Jen, when a, when a dice and a dice are very are very happy together, sometimes. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm not. Also, check out our shop. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy Unexpectables merch with designs by Citric King right now. We've got the Sweet Dragon logo. We've got the Avon's Cup logo, and we've got the brand new. I went to East Vale, and all I did was die and kill the king, maybe. <laughs> uh, we'll find out what happens during today's episode. But before we get to all that, we got some business subs. Business subs. Business subs. Let's sub. Here I go! Oh my god. Uh. Um. Uh, Miss Sweetums, thank you for the 37 months. Throw me in, coach. I'll help dethrone the king. I have no doubt you could do it. Therapod Art, thank you for the 37 months as well. Killer Bean is a cultural icon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teresis, thank you for the 14 months papaya. Indeed. Mud Martin, thank you for the 34 months. Draco Choji, thank you for the 37 months. Just missed them, thank you for the 20 months. Will the group adopt new royal names if they receive the kingdom? Who knows? Uh, Draco Soon, thank you for the 175 bits. Let's go kill the king. Vardix S, thank you for the 37 months. Commander Solus, thank you for the 37 months. Gamaleo, thank you for the 37 months. Just over three years. Vince Babagadoosh, thank you for the 14 months of prime subage. Uh, have fun storming the castle, right you are, Ken. Uh, Tau Set, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, Lunar the Dragon, thank you for the 23 months. Almost two years, both campaigns have been just a delight. Gauze 21, thank you for the 10 bits. Only the Irish and Scottish can use the power of Lucky Charms to part a, as part of a balanced breakfast. It's true. Uh, we unlock the nutrients. Our, our bodies just digest it differently. Uh, uh, bunch of numbers. Thank you for the 100 bits. Emerald Bandit. Thank you for the 200 bits. Just got out of a double shift. My eyes hurt. My legs don't want to lag. But this, uh, for this, my ears will put in overtime. Amazing. 
Uh, Cobalt with a big gun. Thank you for the 37 months. <laughs> time to play some. Time to play some Castle Crap. Wait, wrong game. Sloth, zero one three zero. Thank you for the 37 months. Saint Jimmy. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. Wanted to share the other day. My folks were talking about uh, vulcanizing and galvanizing building materials, and every time I heard galvanizing, I had to resist doing my Gaijin impression and echoing that specific word. I don't even physically say it anymore. Yeah. You mentally yeah. say it. Yeah. We can hear the echoes in space time. Yep. Uh, Cobalt Centurion, thank you for the 26 months of Prime. Uh, can I knock my arrow yet? Oh. Felt a violent shudder just now. Uh, Calum Raintree, thank you for the 100 bets. Welp, going through a castle to slay a king. Episode title suggestion, Fortified Regicide. Contrasted Chaos, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, hey, Zito, have you heard of, uh, Cassette Beast? Gaius looks just like the starter mons. Oh, I know. I played it on. St I played it a long time ago. I played the demo. I know about Gaius, friend. Hmm. Hmm. Callum draws. Think of any fifty bits. Order my lies dice. Excited to see how they. Te I mean, roll. <laughs> <laughs> Twisty the kitty. Think of the thirty-seven months. Infinite kitty. Thank you for the thirty-five months. Man, I can't wait until the party's playthrough of Castle Crashers is over. <laughs> sure. Uh, 1,300 bits from the Atom Bomb. Uh, I has candy, large buttered popcorn, the biggest big gulp drink available, filled with my favorite soda, strawberry crush, because I'm nutty like that. Ooh, uh, left field choice. I, I respect it, though. Uh, and a comfy computer office chair. Okay, Monty, let's see what you've been working on. My body is ready. Oh. Constable Mutton, thank you for the 37 months. Funny how both campaign first arcs ended with a regicide. You know, that's right. Yeah. We, did, we did kill Funny a king, that. technically. Uh, Salem, thank you for the uh, Salem X90, I should say. Thank you for the 19 months of Prime. Finally caught up after not watching for a while. I'm excited to watch live after so long. Gin no Kaze, thank you for the 37 months. <clears throat> More Thrandor, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm super hyped for tonight. Let's go, Kingslayers. Miss Tweedums, thank you for getting a tier one sub to LJ. The Last Ace, thank you for the sub. Masamune84, thank you for the 27 months. Time to storm the castle. Dial M for Mud, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Zombie Master. Uh, Jet Sage, thank you for the 36 months. Finally able to catch live in months. Yeah, a lot of people are coming back. Uh, Defective Sheep, thank you for the 31 months. Long time no see. Glacerius, thank you for the 37 months. Gotta watch in the VODs. Good luck storming the castle, lads. Zebzy Beezabeel, thank you for the 35 months. Almost three years, and I've loved them all. Uh, good luck post move Zito. Take care of yourself. You're great. <laughs> Yeah. I'll be Crow the Immortal, thank you for the 36 months. Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits. Zeta next week, good pizza, chopped cheese, 3 a.m. deli in his zone vibing. My, my, my brother in Christ, I have just ascended at the idea of 3 a.m. deli. I am fucking so there. <laughs> am, New York I punk. I am that fucking meme. Of, I am that bit of Peter Griffin on cocaine. I am so fucking ready. Just jumps through the ceiling. <laughs> Uh, Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 95 bits. Uh, saw the Mario movie today. I have a question. How would Monty feel if Die Hard Dice made Electrum Dice? Oh. Listen. Well, Todd, Billy! Todd. Don't. No. No, don't. don't. Todd, be the listen, cool one. Listen, you can do it. Listen, I believe in you. Listen, hi, hi, Chris Zito here. I'm I'm part of the Unexpectables too. If you don't know, see, I I think that's a cool idea. Uh, I second that. Uh, Mark Allen Jr. here, also part of the Unexpectables. Listen, um, I want to live. Yeah. I was just... <laughs> Harmless NPC. Thank you for the 37 months. Dark E Arts. Thank you for the 36 months. Three years on this channel, time flies. Also, good luck with the regicide. Common Striders, thank you for the 16 months. Hey guys, love you all. Uh, 
I got more of my friends into D&D &D because of you. Mark, you're my favorite unexpected bro. Hmm. Travis, a.k.a. Thank you for the 245 bits. Good luck tonight. May you have the same luck with your rolls as Monty has with shinies in Pokemon. Oh my god, oh. please. God. <laughs> That I remember that us. day that when you're us. just like, hey, here's four shinies in half an hour. Spoiler alert for campaign one. That was us during the final battle. Yeah, honestly. We were critting all over the place. We crit the bed. Fucking awesome. Gross. I crit my pants. I love that I started I'm that awesome. stream off with like, listen, I don't have shiny luck. I just played the game a lot. And then I did proceed to get four shinies in like an hour. And I was like, yeah, oh. you no okay. denial. I was so upset. I was like, <laughs> hold down beat shaking. For it. <laughs> Zacho Duo, thank you for the twenty-seven or the thirty-seven months. Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Uh, Fooly Cooly nine thousand, thank you for the fourteen months. Been a heck of a busy week. Been doing a lot uh, with my text-based D and D group. They're still in session zero since it's a play when you can sort of deal, but fun regardless. Also, Zito got me into buying lots of homebrew stuff. Thanks, Zito. Buy more, <laughs> more Thrandor. Thank you for the one hundred bits. E B Sports. It's in the game. Personally, I prefer EB Sports. Uh, Captain, actually, think of the 100 bits. Just got my Lies Aspect Dice yesterday. Yay! Vale 606, thank you for gifting a sub to Trexbeal. Uh, Taurus Ex Machina, thank you for the 500 bits. Waiting for the best boy to show up and wreck undead shit. Tarish just shows up. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, you know, and then Tarish. Da, 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 da. Uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. One of our players is cursed. The very few sessions they've been absent for, they've missed a romance-related plot device. We skipped last week to try and break the curse, and we might suffer a TPK because of it. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, totally wins. Callum Draws, thank you for the 20 bits. Move Gaius to L13. Checkmate. Did you say L13? Yeah. That's not a chess spot. It's okay. I ate all the pieces. I win. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's just like a, a wood square that's off to the side of the board. It's just like drawn on. <laughs> like a single. <laughs> a one tile. <laughs> I win. Fools. They'll never get me out here. Brawl Kaiser, thank you for the seven months. Uh, Dreadlord Bedrock, thank you for the uh, 37 months. Let's go. Papusa Monkey, think of the 37 months. Monty demanded we come watch this episode in particular. Listen, I pulled an all-nighter, all right? I'm not going to say it's fanta It's going to be a fantastic session, but, man, I... if anyone ever calls me lazy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to their house, <laughs> unhinge my jaw like a snake, and just eat them. Oh. In, in, in Fortnite. In Fortnite. Uh, <laughs> snake Man, thank you for the 13 <laughs> months. Stop with the... <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Spooky Zelda Castle. Uh, Blue Decoder, thank you for the 500 bits. Been a fan since early campaign one, but today is the first time I've watched live. It's 4 a.m. in Germany. Oh, greetings. Uh, and uh, gl glad you woke up for it. Uh, and thank you for being such a longtime supporter. Uh, Skyrim Luigi, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you for everything. Zen Lita, thank you for the what? Oh, God. Uh, 100 bits. Have fun storming the castle. Mr. Nunny, thank you for giving a tier one sub to Goblin Analog. What uh, a great name. <laughs> Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 37 months Scott Pilgrim level seven music starts. <laughs> Welsh 93, thank you for the 37 months. Mr. Nunny, thank you for the 33 months of Prime. Looking forward to what is sure to be a heck of a close to this arc. Uh, Friendship optional, thank you for the 34 months. Good luck and look out for bonfires. <laughs> That's true. Sight of grace discovered. Uh, awesome link. Thank you for the thir or 19 months of Prime. Excited to find out what Monty spent all night uh, into 10 a.m. today writing. Oh. Shinichi Kid, thank you for the five bits. Everyone sees the castle. Milo, why do I hear piano? <laughs> oh. Ah, you see, we're fucking oh, Isaac oh, Eisenvale. Oh. It, Isaac Eisenvale is actually an anagram for Ganondorf. <laughs> Uh, Blue Kios 445, thank you for the 37 months. King Night Owl, thank you for the 200 bits. 
uh, got my lies dice and a new Unexpectables episode on my birthday today. I'm a very happy being. Happy birthday. You have three minutes, Connor. We're going to be good. Uh, Omen the Gloomy Bunny, thank you for the 300 bits. Finally able to watch again after a year and a half. Oh my goodness, so many people coming back. Uh, Dragosoon, thank you for the 125 bits. Still love my set of lies dice. Zombie Monster, thank you for the 200 bits. Every time Iskan talks, it makes me imagine he speaks like a Mexican gangster. <laughs> uh, I love the lies dice and they roll really well. Yeah. They're really nice. Uh, Alpha Rabbit, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Been looking forward to this all week. Been dealing with a hairline fracture for days. I need this. Ooh, sorry to hear that. Uh, Reaper Harlequin, thank you for the 100 bits. Have fun storing the castle. It'll take a miracle. Don't worry. Oh, thanks uh, for the vote of confidence. Jeez. Brawl Kaiser, thank you for the 100 bits. What is Monty's most hated drink? Elect rum. Approved. I get it. I get it. I I I get it. But yes, Monty, take, take the shot of Electrum. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> That actually be a pretty fun like booze name actually is Electrum. Electrum. Yeah, I'm down for it. Uh, Despoonman. I. Is this a reference? Ah, King Eason Vale. We must make sure you don't bring forth another Ash Plague. Gaius, whack his peepee. What? <laughs> whack his peepee. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh choppy choppy is peep. Uh Geo Emperor, thank you for the 22 months. Hope Zito has a safe and successful move back to New York. Uh I also got a set of lies dice today. Thank you all for being so inspirational. A real meta thank you for the 10,000 bits. Oh my, uh, my diehard dice got here like three days early. Both the sweet dragon set and a free set. Another set I got, and a metal D20 they all sent. Uh, rolled up a one. Am I going to die? I'm very sorry. Welcome to the club. <laughs> yes. Uh, thanks for giving us your money beforehand. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> More Andor, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Helen Real. Oh, my God. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> she was in my imagination the entire time. Whose children are these? <laughs> <laughs> Protoss103, thank you for the five bits. Uh, uh, Milo, my sister has pneumonia. Can you heal her? Good. I don't know about that one. I need two more levels. <laughs> uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. The Lies Dice roll pretty well. And finally, Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 37 months. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Right. Are you guys ready to get into it? Oh, I guess. I'm ready for a world of wonder and pain. Hang on. Hang on. Let us commence forth. <laughs> okay, I'm good. All right. Wow. Let's jump into the unexpectables.
So, when last we left our adventurers, Gaius Agni, Milo Brightbeam, Iskan Seat Lolly, Otho Valentinius, and Kai Valentinius, the party has found themselves in the final throes in the fight against the curse that holds Eastonvale in a state of undeath. After fighting off the retaliation, oh sorry, after fighting off the retaliation from the horrible necromancer Wormtongue, the party's final ritual was stopped in its tracks. Lynn, the party's patron, collapsed under the weight of the burden and soon imparted the party with the truth of her existence as an undead creature. Lynn herself was once queen of Eastonvale and believes that the king is responsible for holding off the completion of the third ritual and for plunging Eastonvale into such a terrible state. In weakened desperation, Lynn entrusted the party with a magical scepter and tasked them to use it to teleport to the castle to, king, to kill the king of Eastonvale to save the country from his actions. Now, as the party collect themselves and ready themselves for what could be their final stand, we pierce the veil and return to the unexpectables. So, as all of you lift the scepter up in the air and all at once say the words, pierce the veil, a sudden burst of light springs forth. Your vision goes white for a brief moment. And in an instance, you find yourself in a completely different place. Once we have our bearings, what's our surroundings like? Immediately, as you kind of land, you see on the floor almost an ambient light that fills a very large cylindrical space. On the ground, you see what appears to be a large, like, very huge teleportation circle. <clears throat> Give me one second here. You stand in a massive cylindrical chamber that is about 60 feet tall. A large mithril gold and silver ivory inlay spell circle stands in the center of this otherworldly chamber. The precipice and the top of this chamber contains a large shimmering quartz lens of an ancient time long forgotten. And four hewn ramps lead upwards in the cardinal directions. And I'm going to pull us to our map. Map, map, map. It's a bad map, Mark. No, all maps good. <laughs> oh god, the color changed again. Wacky. Sorry, chat was ballpark. Hello, map. I'm gonna have to get out my Digimon language to English translator. <laughs> That that one's data and that one's virus and that one that's <laughs> that not how that works. That's the crest of hope and the crest of parts. The crest the hash of baby parts. <laughs> did you evolve into oh Agamon? Then that's a hard the play. That no one ever invites. <laughs> Who is the holding the parts. scepter? Uh, I thought we all, all of us aren't we? we? All kind of yeah, we're all right. ripping it. As you're all holding the scepter and you immediately kind of begin to look around, a couple minutes pass as you're just kind of like, whoa, where are we? Um, one of the things to note, because you were in a location similar, this chamber is somewhat similar, at least in like historical design, to the Twin Head Vault, if you recall. Oh, well, that's terrifying. Yeah. Something about this is ancient yet refined in its arcane creation. Uh, but as all of you guys are kind of looking around and taking in the sights, the scepter begins to vibrate violently. Oh my. Let go. Uh. All right. You let go of it. The rest of you guys let go. Um, does it hurt to hold or is it just vibrating? It's pretty violent. It seems like it's trying to wrestle free of your grip, basically. Okay. Uh, I'll drop it. I, I'm going to just kind of hold on to it to see if it jolts in a direction before letting it go proper. All right, yeah. it seems to be just trying to get out of your grip. It seems to be kind of like, almost like as if someone's ha ha holding the other end and is like trying to pull it from your grasp. 
okay. Uh, I guess I'll let go of it then. All right. The scepter kling, 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 lands on the ground, and you watch as it kind of like shakes on the ground, like you know, like a toy, like you know, like maybe like a little like walking toy, until yeah. eventually you watch as it the entire form begins to shape and shift, and you watch as the scepter turns into this creature. Oh God! Oh, oh. a little guy. Just a little man. Just a little, just a little dude. Little, little guy. friend. Oh, oh my that is God. a friend. He's so cute. It kind of looks around. It is the scepter itself. The the shaft of like where you hold it becomes a long tail with a sort of end tail with like a, the, the gemstone that it had in it. The sort of wing motif turns into almost like little wyvern wings with these little sort of claws that come out. And its head, which was kind of bird like in nature, uh, kind of turns forward, it has this sort of permanent smile on its face, just from the natural carvation of the stone, and like these two gemstone eyes. And it kind of like looks around, and then looks up towards all you goes, and looks up at all of you and goes, bark. Well, okay, um, where, where is the button on it that dispenses Pez? <laughs> <laughs> is it Bark moving indeed. around or? It's just looking at you, like standing still and looking up at you. Um... Can you understand us? Bark. Great. I don't know if that's uh, a yes or no. Bark once for yes, twice for no. Bark. You can understand us. Are, are, are you wait, sure? Yeah, do, do, it the, do it the other way. Like, bark twice if it can understand us. Bark. No. Uh, I... <laughs> All right. right. Um, I'm assuming it's friendly, at least. Can I, like, le bend down and, like, extend my hand towards it? Yeah, you do. It doesn't really like it. It's kind of like a cat that doesn't care when you touch it. It's like... I see. <laughs> um... Lynn didn't say wow. anything about this, did she? <laughs> no. You know, she really could have sure really missed could've... something. <laughs> she really could have prepared us for this change, to this <laughs> course of events. But um... so... Does anyone speak to Mark? <sighs> Unfortunately, <laughs> my, my studies have not prepared me to speak Wark. You watch as the scepter slowly raises up one of its little wings. Wait. Do you have a question? Have a question? No, I think, <laughs> yeah, I, was about to say. I think he was, or it was saying it It speaks orc. It lowers its wing. So maybe Wark. it does understand us. Wark. It looks towards you, East Cannon, says Wark. I, I still don't know if that's a yes or no. Wark. Great. Uh. Okay. <laughs> All um, right. Guys, we probably shouldn't dally too much. We need to head up north and, and get that... Oh, what did she call it? A, it was a some poultice? sort of poultice. Yes. In a chest that we got to unlock. <sighs> All right. Uh, north. Uh, are we are we able to tell what which way is north upon arrival? It is it is as intended on the map. Okay. So. This away. Uh, uh, Monty, how much light is in here real quick? It is just the ambient light from the teleportation circle that you just came through. It seems hey, to have the sort of permanent glow. Yes. I have 120 feet dark vision. Mm-hmm. Can I see anywhere through the north? Uh, you do. You see that the ramp continues upwards to what seems to be uh -huh. just a wall. But you do notice that there is a something, like, next to it. But because your dark vision doesn't give you full detail, it's kind of hard to tell. Right, I, I, it's like basically just night vision, black and white outlining. Uh, is that the same for each? Uh, is that the same for each cardinal direction? Yes, they all seem to be identical. Okay. Is this like a little ledge? No, it's a ramp. It's like here? it's like a steps that go up. But so basically, the ramps if you see these, just go up, right? There's nothing. Yeah, below they us. go up. Yeah. Uh, okay. just because there might be more than one of these on the map, when you see these sort of, like, lines that kind of lead up somewhere, and then there's, like, a dark shadow, that means it usually goes to a different floor. So just heads up on that gotcha. as you guys make your way around this space. 
Do the right. do the lines indicate up or down? Uh, I will indicate. I'll tell you just because okay. you know, and maybe it might not be super clear, but I tried my hey, best. Hey, okay. Hey, money. <laughs> yeah. If I step on the F9 key, what happens? What macro is that? Uh, that is just another jump macro. Where's the fart reverb button? <laughs> the, the the F9 macro is Control X followed immediately by Control V, so you're cut and pasted in place so quickly that you don't notice it happens. So it's like it's like a teleporter in Star Trek, but your destination is the same point you left from. All right, are all, all right. you guys heading up the ramp? Why are you moving me? Hold yeah. on. <laughs> well, in order to go up, you're gonna have to be in that space. I know. Sorry. I just don't want to be in front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does does dead. Guys, should we should we load up that lantern you got? Okay, I do so. Well, here I'll uh. Funny lantern, me, he hoo ha ha, up in front. Let me let me blip that for you. Right. Oh God, why am I there? What does it help? We've changed it. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right, guys, you're behind the forest. If you want to be moved. The this gray space behind is basically below you. Ah, uh, okay. as you as you look uh, with your dark vision and with your lantern, immediately you see uh, sprouting from the ceiling is a chain with a handle at the bottom. Huh? Does that go uh, to the look. attic? Lynn didn't say anything about that, did she? Well, does does the chain seem like it used to house like a chandelier or something? No, it seems to be like it's in the wall. It looks like a very Alice Skyrim. Ah, to disarm the trap, I see. Or activate the trap. Hmm. Just an NPC walks in, we pull the chain. Have you heard of the hive? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Do you get to the cloud district very often? What am I saying? Of course you don't. Of course you don't. Uh, Otho, you feel something climb up the bat your back. <laughs> and you all watch as, like, Otho, like, kind of wrenches back. You see the little scepter creature kind of, like, sit on his shoulder, just kind of Oh! Okay, hello! Uh... Mark. Yes. Um... I was wondering if you would follow us. Well, you're... Make yourself comfortable. I suppose we're... All of us in it for the long haul. Right. Did Lynn tell us any additional directions? No, she feeling. just she just sent us to the north. And now we're looking for a study. Mark, you watch as the scepter's head turns in a direction. Ah. Which direction? Uh, it seems to be pointing towards One direction. the uh, Stop. essentially the northeast. Um, northeast of us, yep. or northeast of the map. Northeast of the map. Are, are, okay. Are we on the wrong? I don't know. Side? I don't know what the di I don't know what the difference would be. It's basically from your position, yeah. Yeah. God, I gotta pull up a fucking compass. Northeast of rose. us is back down. I'm gonna make life easier here. Thank you. <laughs> yes, please, because I'm, I'm actually kind of confused as well. East. No, I got that. Northeast of us is back down the ramp, though. Because we're at the top of the map. No, it's this way. Yeah, these uh, aren't walls per se. So if I scoot on over this way. <clears throat> okay, so it was pointing southeast of us towards the northeast of the room. Got it. Okay. Do I do I see the funny northeast, or do I only see? It's a is wall. That a, that's a wall. That is a wall. Okay. Yeah. I I shall if... peer down this way to the east. The east, you see a similar black wall and a similar chain hanging. Now that you know what it is, and you, with your dark vision, you're like, okay, it's another one of those chains. If I if I move up to this place, is the the scepter beast's head still pointing in that direction? It seems to be pointing in that direction. Yeah. It looks like it wants us to go this way. Right, but how do we get that way? Good question. Any insight? <laughs> he just turns to the beast. The beast kind of looks towards you, blinks twice, looks and doesn't say anything. Mm. So, Monty, there's a chain on this wall over here? 
There's a chain right here, kind of hanging next to the wall. You notice that each one of these spaces has a chain hanging from the ceiling. Hmm. Would it be? It's a almost like a steep. It's like a steam engine train on a like you know when you go hoo hoo on a train. It's like a like a thing like that that you can pull. Okay. Would it be a mm. safe enough assumption to assume it's some sort of like maybe an elevator kind of thing? You don't know. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. I if we need to go this way and or north, and we just came from the north, so I'm of the mindset I'm gonna pull this fucking chain. Wait. Right. What? Okay. Stop Wait me till now. we're all here. Speak, Bosco, speak now forever but hold your get your butt over here. But not in AOE range. <laughs> I mean, if it's a platform that's going to move when activated, we all kind of want to be in range. Alrighty. You gotta move one tile to the right for me, uh, Gaius, to pull the chain, because it's hanging in that space. Alright, you li you reach up easy enough. It seems to be of like a you know, medium height, and you grab it, and you pull. You feel a little bit of resistance, and you hear a <laughs> noise. And you, all of you hear like a like a grinding stone noise and water as a large part of the wall begins to shift away and you see water dripping from what appears to be a fountain on the other side and you watch as the water that's kind of flowing down like a waterfall is parted opening up a door space and you see rising up from the fountain's bottom some stepping stones to walk across the fountain's water as you have found a secret door which leads into the royal chambers. Uh oh. Sick! Somebody tell Fleetwood Mac this is what happens when you break the chain. God damn it. Oh. Man, look at that carpet. Mm. It's made of Gaius skin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this, this room... Uncle, no! Oh, no! Uncle Tech! <laughs> this room contains a large, goldwood-framed, canopy king-sized bed, opulent paintings of what appears to be a human man with a, uh, with a crown on his head, wearing ornate royal purple robes, sort of very handsome face, darker complexion, and very stern gaze as well as paintings of the Eastendale countryside in a more pleasant state before the curse had landed. An exotic purple uh, carpet lies on the marble floor that looks to be of foreign make. Uh, a massive, a, a crystal chandelier illuminates the room with magical light, and a sturdy and massive armoire or dresser occupies the southern wall. There are also three doors, a set of double doors uh, to the east, a set of a single door to the north, and a single door to the south. Would you guys give me the 10 minutes to ritual cast detect magic, or do we need to get a move on? I've got one slot left. I think we need to move. If, if we, I, the only yeah. thing I would say okay. is we should move on, yeah. Okay, then I will just cast it normally. Okay, you cast it normally. Uh, the chandelier is obviously conjuration magic. It is mm -hmm. giving off like a like a basically a modified light spell. You can because you, you know that spell pretty well, Milo. You're very right. well versed in that. Um, beyond that, you detect no magic in this chamber. Uh, Not even it is on all work on work, buddy. Work is a little bit magical, definitely magical. Uh, he gives off the same like weirdly enough. Um, he gives off sort of a cocktail of magic, which is that of a magical item. Uh, a very, very, like, interesting look of conjuration magic, as well as sort of the, the ambient magic you'd see in a familiar kind of cocktail mm. together. Uh, well, guys, I'm not seeing anything magical around here except for that light, so if there's a trap, it's probably mechanical by nature. We're looking for a chest? Was that anything else? Does this, look like Sorry. A, this looks like a bedroom, right, Monty? Yeah, this is like royal chambers. Yeah. These are, it's like it's got a fountain in it. It's really, really nice. Is 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 there like a lot of dust accumulation around the room? No, it's pretty clean. It looks just untouched. Very strange. Nice opens a drawer in the armoire. Okay. Uh, as you open up a drawer in the armoire, it is. 
stuffed with fine clothes and dresses. Uh, and there are several shelves that contain jewelry and other effects. You know what? I'm going to be silly. I'm going to check under the bed because I'm short. You check underneath the bed. There's mm -hmm. nothing underneath the bed. Okay. You never know. Everyone Good thinking, looks back. Though. Milo is gone. We check under the bed. Milo is now under the bed. Just, I'm just uh, there. <laughs> Kai, may I, may I move you into the room before the door closes? Because it seems like the door will close after a while. You might want to turn your gain up. That, that was very quiet. Oh, check your cables. As the if door closes, if the door clo as the door closes behind you, you are now in this space. Does it seem like there is a way to reopen that entryway from this side? Not that it seems obvious. No. Ah, fuck. You could you could well, roll an investigation check. I think I will. Sure. I think okay. I will. As a matter of fact. Uh, just because that might be <laughs> that might be prudent if this castle is load bearing. Uh, where in the world is there? It is my investigation. There it is. Can I, I guidance found this? you? Yeah, you can guidance this. Okay. Okay. Here I go. That's a soft twenty. If you want nice. And. <laughs> Hey. A three. Hey, 23. Good enough. Total. It was D DC 14. Uh, as you kind of look around, you notice as the door closed, there was a rose. Like, it's it's sort of a rose fountain motif with, like, just a bunch of roses on it, like a giant rose that's spewing out water at the top. But you notice there's a little rose that clicked back into place, and you get the sense that if you were to twist that, like a knob, it would reopen the door. His, his Sherlock vision fades, and he... Uh... <laughs> He strokes his chin. Vision. Ah, I see. That that rose was what will initiate the door opening from this side. And the rose was in the statue? Yeah. Okay. Well, we need to find that potion and, and guzzle it down. Um, Monty? <laughs> mm -hmm. Is this door that Iskan is south of locked? Uh, as you go to try and open it, you feel no resistance. It seems to be unlocked. Uh, do we want to check with Wark if we're still supposed to go north? This door's unlocked. Is that, what, is that what we're doing? We're just calling him the one sound he can make? Wark. We'll call it a better idea? It's better Guys, than calling the really. scepter. Guys is too busy doing that one pose from Fantastic Mr. Fox where they, like, scrounge at shit. It, it really, like, bent over, just, like, making animal noises. <laughs> grabbing at all the fucking high-end materials he's finding in the armoire. You're gonna oh, take Mr. it? Mr. Agni... <laughs> okay. As no, you... I, no, 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 no. You didn't know. I'm looking for the most. I'm not looking for the jewelry. I'm looking for a really dapper shirt. Okay, easy enough. Uh, you find almost a similar to what Osmir Harlan was wearing, but with like golden buttons and like shoulder pads, and it's like kind of this really, really vibrant royal purple with like a velvet kind of un like inside coat with like silk detailing on it. It is so unnecessary, un like unnecessarily like, what's the word? Like- It's opulent. It's gaudy. opulent as fuck. Yeah, it's, well not gaudy, it actually looks very nice, but it's like, what a waste of money. <laughs> like, <laughs> like- Money, I'm curious, are there any gems in there that could act as spell reagents for future spells? Funny you mention that. Uh, as you look inside, you do see uh, what appears to be a diamond brooch. <laughs> oh my. Uh, as well as a uh, what appears to be a crown and a silver chalice with moonstones in it. So there are gemstone items in here. Oh, if y'all don't However, mind... Oh, However, you don't know their value, so that's the only downside. You'd have to get it assessed to find out. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I only make maps. No, it's it's fine. Uh, if you don't mind, I might be taking these. I might need them for reagents for later. I don't know exactly how many and how much it's got to be worth or anything like that. But I, I remember being told that some of the better spells, uh, particularly the divination ones, 
they require a lot of gemstones. You look back up, guys, is where is A posing with a cardigan. <laughs> I want to imagine it's either too big or too small. It's I like a poncho. <laughs> I respect that, Mr. Brightbeam, Mr. Agni, but is this really the time for this? Yeah. Oh, don't look at don't look a gift horse in the mouth. The oh, yeah, scepter kind of looks this. towards you, Otho, and does like a little shrug, just like. Mm. <laughs> He rolls uh, his eyes. Yes, this is uh, what we're here for: receiving gifts. I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the uh, diamond brooch, crown, and silver chalice. You got it. How big is this crown? Uh, human size. Okay. I lost my bandages, though, so I need to feel dapper. Well, if everyone's done looting. No. I'm going to open the door anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How about e I do anyway? E-scan, yes. as you open the door, immediately your senses are barraged oh. Oh. with this chamber. This chamber is filled floor to ceiling with paintings of dogs and contains a massive marble statue of, of of large wolfish dogs small dog statuettes litter shelves and nooks and a large oaken desk rests at the eastern wall do any of the dogs look familiar yes there is a framed <laughs> painting of a woman you recognize as lynn uh sitting with two dogs that you remember her having which were the two undead dogs that were her he's just gonna turn back to otho i think i i think lynn was a dog person oh nonsense you look human no i mean like a dog person well so she just likes dogs I He's gonna just got steps from aside the, from the door <laughs> so you can look. I think I picked that up from the dogs that she had with her, but that's it just is, me. It is like imagine a person bought every single Hello Kitty product and like has it on display. <laughs> Levels dogs. of dog oh, it's, it's items. Like dogs, the, dogs, it's dogs, dogs. It's like the precious moments dolls. Just I was just thinking oh precious my moments. God. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Except for it's dogs. And you, does, as you look um, around, it does. You're like, yeah, this is Lynn's like room. <laughs> you're like, wow. what? This is the dog room. I I can respect this as someone whose parents were dog breeders. I I'm like, yeah, no, I yeah. get this. This is real. Does Lynn look different in the portrait from how we know her? Uh, she is wearing that crown actually that Milo took. Um, first of all, she's wearing very beautiful clothing, and she's alive. Is she um, smiling? Well, no, does her, not does at her all. Does her hair look Good. different? Never. What, what, color, what uh, color are her, her eyes? And Her eyes are kind of a green color. Um, there's no glowing effect, obviously. That scar on her, her face is still there, interestingly enough. Um, mm. And then her hair doesn't have those sort of white tips to them. It's, it seems to be like, you know, full, full darker color all the way through and uh, she's not smiling now mm, that's good painting. that would be terrifying also do you remember if it was the desk or something else I, I remember hearing something about a desk yes and uh could i inspect this desk for any sort of locked drawers sure uh i'm not gonna to, i'm not gonna like yeah. physically handle it i'm just going to check and see uh roll a perception check for me perception uh, I am actually trained in that. Your yeah, guidance? Go. Uh, uh, hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can guide. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just want to make sure. Phew. Apologies. There I need go. to get use out of that. That's uh, a 19. Uh, that's a 22. Oh, yeah. So Easy close. enough. There is one drawer that clearly has, like, a ornate, like, kind of handle to it, but you notice there's, like, a slit, like, a sort of horizontal one that you could probably put a key in, but obviously you don't have a key, so. Ah. Uh, and yeah. my my 22 didn't give me a cursory glance around to see if there was a key. 
No, you you get the sense that there was a key. Lynn would have probably told you about it. All righty. She did well, say you'd have to pick it. Yeah, yep. she did mention there is a trap as well. So yeah, knowing I that, I was just hoping against hope that maybe there was an easy way out of this. But fine. I'll One apply more time. The I'll apply the trade of thieves for this. All right, I need a thieves tool check to disarm the trap. Uh, there's just a sleight of hand, I believe. It's my dexterity with my yes. proficiency. And your uh, and and the the uh the funny lock pick that gives me a plus five, right? It does, yes. But if you roll a natural one, it, it makes a knock spell and explodes. Uh. I'm just letting you know that's what the item does, mm -hmm. you know. I I'm not I'm gonna use my regular thieves tools for this. Coward! Listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh it's a nine. And guidance. And Eleven? If you rolled a four, you would have succeeded. As you try and go to disarm the trap. It is much more refined than what you are used to. And as you are trying to disarm it, a large spike bursts out from the drawer and jabs your hand. And you take... Yeah. Uh, you take four points of poison damage as you are stabbed by a poisonous needle. Uh, here we go again. Oh. The trap has gone off, so now it's Whoa, just unlocking not 40. the drawer. <laughs> Uh, am I poisoned? You are not poisoned, luckily. Okay. Just sort of, like, sucks on the wounds. <laughs> spits the blood on the floor. <sighs> I know, right? I'll be fine. This poultice will probably do the trick. If I can get it, I'm gonna try again. You got it. Go for it. With guidance as well, again. Yes, that's yes, a, absolutely. Don't bother. That's a natural 20, baby. Oh, oh, yeah. Kind of annoyed you take your lockpick to it. And, I mean, you've you've messed around with, like, your father's study and things like that. It's pretty rudimentary. You know, this one's a very similar make. And you're... I've never picked any of his locks. Yeah, but you're, you're <laughs> aware of them and how they work, probably. Um, but you manage to pick the lock and the door <laughs> kind of folds open. And inside is a black ivory box. Ah, if I didn't want their heads in a noose, I could kiss the people that I learned that from. That doesn't sound sanitary. Indeed, that's why I probably wouldn't do it. Uh, I think we found it, guys, if you want to make your way in here. I found yeah, it I'm just going to slide open the Mr. Agni. gonna hang out by the statue of dogs yeah it's a nice statue it's really well made am i given my background could i like try and see if there's like a artist's uh signature or like logo or something in the in the statue yeah there is a signature uh it seems to be by an artist in eastonville based on what you read i don't have okay. an exact name but it's definitely it was made locally um, and it's made out of, like, a nice sort of, like, smoky marble. It's very... It's well done. It's really, really well done. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh Who's that? That was Gaijin. We just, we just lost Gaijin. Oh, shit. Oh, there He's he is. Back. Okay, I have no idea what happened. It just futzed real bad. Welcome Jeez. back. Blue Barracuda. King of Yusumel just cuts off your internet. Barracuda. Oh. I thought I was uh, staring at for a minute. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like, a, it's a very nice, it's kind of like, it's not like accurately carved, but it's very like, you know, sort of like, um, have you ever seen like soapstone carvings? Like, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like it's chipped like, away. Yeah, it's really pretty in that way. It definitely is like Lynn's style, just based on the brief time you've known her. It's very much her, her kind of aesthetic, I guess. Would you say kind of like minimalist? Yeah, minimalist. Gotcha. Well, gentlemen, we've got a poultice now, I think. I pull out the drawer and I look inside. Yeah, you pull out the black ivory box and as you open it up inside, you see what can only be described as like a Lord of the Rings potion bottle of like oh, the shit. ancient elves. 
Uh, it bears a topper that has like a glass like model of like the, the sort of winged uh, shovel symbol of Hokef, and the water itself is just glowing, like with a with a radiant white energy. Well, and it seems like there's enough for each of us. There's enough for six people, which means you'll have an extra dosage at the end. Oh, shit. Oh, Bing, save it for Lynn. Bing, wahoo. Save it for Lynn. Lynn's dead. Well, gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So soon. I... Gentlemen, this is it. Well, I guess let's just bottoms up and get it did done. She, did she say drink it or? Yeah, you had to drink it. Okay. All okay. Right. So as all as you take a small sip, like just a little little shot amount, uh, you feel your vitality <clears throat> just flare. All of you guys in the benefits of the long rest. If you have any spells that you had cast, they are now gone. If you're concentrating the spell, they are now gone. And spell casters with prep spells, you can now prep your spells right now. Yeehaw! So go ahead and take your time to do that. And then we can continue on. Oh. I can become EA Sports big once again. EA Sports. Let's see. So I get my funny action surge and my second win back. Yippee. <laughs> win Yippee! Back. Well, that's that. Who wants to hang on to this? I'll, I'll hang on to it. Very well hands over the decanter. I imagine it's just as big as him. <laughs> I just, I put it, I just, I just put it in my pocket that it's just it's just hammer space pocket. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I suppose all that's left is current mission. Regicide. I mean, we're stopping a great evil, are we not? Well, yes, but it's just not something I ever thought I would be doing. Or... I don't I don't think there's anything any of us thought we were going to do, Ortho. Mark. That is a fair point. Wark? What's Wark saying? Wark. Wark. Well, it's walking. It, it's it claws... Bad. It claws kind of down your leg and kind of moves in the middle of the room and sort of looks around. Yeah, it's like a cat climbing up your leg. It's not very comfortable. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it kind of stands in the middle of the room and then kind of looks around and then you watch as its eyes kind of close and you watch as emanating from it almost like a pulse. Like a it begins to fill the space and you can see this sort of like aura kind of cling to the walls and all the way up to the ceiling. And it sort of like leaves a sort of like like imagine a glittery film kind of on top of all the surfaces in the space, except for you guys. And the scepter kind of steps back and you watch moving into the space comes a human man with a crown on his head wearing similarly a jacket similar to what Gaius is wearing, uh, a little less gaudy, and kind of moves in and is kind of talking. It's kind of hard to hear. And you see... All of this is kind of made out of this sort of glitter, almost hologram-like material. And the scepter kind of looks up towards all of you and then looks towards the figure as you watch a second figure enter into the space, which you recognize as Worm Tongue. Oh. And you hear this humanoid person go, and I have your word then. And you hear Worm Tongue goes, of course you have my word. Honestly, it's a small pittance to bring someone back to life, but I feel this as a mutually beneficial arrangement. And then the vision fades. And the scepter kind of looks up towards all of you. It's showing us visions of the past. Why? But what happened? What were they talking about? I think King Isaac Eastonvale made a deal with Worm Tongue and his affiliates after Lynn died. Mark. That does Indeed. seem to be what it was about. Uh, Kai, can I get an Arcana check from you? I can try. Uh, 
23. Dang it. Uh, Monty, people are yelling about Wallfly. Not oh, yeah, things. I'll leave you guys down. Sorry. Apologies. Uh, Kai, as you've kind of been observing oh. this scepter creature, you realize something about it. Um, you notice two things. Um, or rather three things. One, it is obviously tied to the big thing in the center of this building, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, two, when when I think it was Otho or Isken mentioned Lynn's study, it immediately turned its attention to where that was. And three, this thing might actually just be the keep manifest, meaning it might actually be more than what it appears to be. So can you say that one more time? I'm just I'm writing everything down. So the first off is this thing is intrinsically linked to the big teleportation circle in the center. That is pretty obvious. Okay. Second, when someone mentioned Lynn's study, it immediately turned its attention in that direction. Uh, and three, given what it's just done now, it seems that its its entire nature is either it's the keep itself or it's like just intensely tied to the keep with being able to kind of you know, present these sort of like uh, memories. I guess it's like it's like it's not really the creature's memories; it's the keep's memories. And it triggered as soon as somebody mentioned the study, so it turned its attention and then <laughs> uh, switched it on. Essentially, yeah. It, it okay. seems that if you say the name of a room, it will turn its attention in that direction. Got it. Hmm. I'm just writing all that down. I have an idea then. A guy so like leans down, like goes over and like, kind of like, like knee like knee bends down to get like closer to this thing. <clears throat> Armory. The creature kind of climbs up your shoulder, Gaius, and its head turns from where you are. In this direction. Gaius rubs his hands. Well, all right. I get where they're, get, where they're going at with uh, all that, guys, but let's also be just a little careful. Well, of course, but we also want to walk into this prepared. Oh, that's fair. Uh, so, double doors then, right? Uh, you want to open the double doors? Well, no, I, I'm asking, like, is there anything, like... What, what, like, describe the double doors one more time. They are ornate carved double doors uh, that seem to lead into this chamber. Hmm. Uh, okay, I will slightly crack a, open a jar so I can look through. Okay. As you go to kind of gently push it, you realize that it is locked. You have to unlock it from the inside. And go ahead for me and roll a stealth check, please. <laughs> oh boy, it's our favorite check. Hmm. I'm gonna say no disadvantage because you're opening up a door you're not moving with your armor. Eight. So it's just a straight roll. Okay. Yeah, it's five. <laughs> it's like agonizingly long. God uh, damn it! The door just goes. It just lets out one of the Tom yelps from Tom and Jerry. As, as, uh, I, as, as I'm opening it, it's like every like clown cartoon noise imaginable. Everything different. You have 150 dark vision, right? I have 120. 120, okay. I'm just going to reveal a majority of the space to you. Oh, you've got the lantern, too, for what it's worth. You do, I yes. do, but I also don't want to shine a light down here where something can see us. Sure. You see a sort of 15-foot-wide hallway that leads north and south and then curves off to the south. Across the hall, you see two doors, one to the sort of uh, north, uh, northeast of your position and one like closer to the north south or the southeast of your position. Sorry. And our uh, our little our little scepter buddy is pointing, I'm going to assume, towards here. Yes. I don't see anything patrolling or whatnot, do I? You do not see anything, no. Uh, look towards the rest of the group. Well, the coast is clear, and our friend here seems to be pointing up a little bit north of us. Well, then I suppose we should make our way there, then. All right, I will take point. <sighs> uh, let me take mid. 
Oh. Milo, <laughs> Milo can We have become me. one! <laughs> We're just stepping on I actually sit on Milo's head. <laughs> I just crumple into an accordion. <laughs> Uh, all right, then I shall meander myself over to this funny door. All right, question. Are you guys closing the doors behind you? Yes. Yeah. Lynn's study as well? Yeah. Uh, I guess so, yeah. All right. Kachunk. Lightning McQueen. Hey, it's me, everybody. Kachunk. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. I lost so the magic. Uh, does our little friend uh, seem to point towards this funny door? It seems to be pointing towards this funny door, yeah. Cool. Uh, jiggle the handle, I guess. Okay. It is openable. Yep. Right Go ahead on. and move yourself one tile down to open the door. Yahoo. Give me one second. Oh, I just got fear and hunger vibes like no other, and I love this. A fully stocked armory with racks of weapons and munitions stands untouched. <laughs> oh. Like a kid in the candy store. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? What's the, well, hold up. What's going on down there? Uh, the room seems to continue southward into a different room. Uh, uh, it's I, the intruder disposal room. Uh, I would like to peek around the corner, Monty, with my dark vision. 60 feet. You got it. Oh. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit for wall fly here. So chat has a that wall looks wall like fly. a forge. That well, like one of us is going to have to sleep outside. Uh, Milo, as you look uh -huh. to the south, you see what appears to be a guard barracks of some kind. There are four standing beds with blankets, uh, four sort of foot lockers, and what appears to be like a pile of like slag metal. Mm. Uh, and that sort of black thing in the corner appears to be like a cauldron, like a molten cauldron that you can use to like, you've seen it, you've read it in stories. They, you know, they fill the cauldron with slag and then they dump it on people trying to, you know, approach the castle basically. It seems to be one of those sort of defense items. Oh God, it's the black cauldron. <laughs> no. Basically. <laughs> Are these chests along the wall here? Yeah, they are chests. Uh, uh, Otho and Gaius. <clears throat> yeah, yes. This place is fucking stocked. <laughs> uh, you see a hundred ballista bolts, ten longbows, ten quivers, two hundred arrows, four light crossbows, seventy crossbow bolts, ten long swords, five lances, ten short swords, a single halberd, two war picks, 30 javelins in a barrel, and 10 daggers. As well, kind of stocked in some chests, are 10 chain shirts, five chain mail, and five shields bearing the heraldry of Eastonvale. Whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> um, can I grab one of those crossbows? I believe I'm also going to grab one of the crossbows. You said there were light crossbows, not hand crossbows? There are light crossbows. No hand crossbows here, no, unfortunately. That is a darn it moment, but... No, no heavy understand. crossbows either. Part of me is debating if I want to take a long bow. <laughs> Just back at it again! Uh, oh, oh, hold on, I want, I want to double check the halberd. Uh, do you mind if I check the halberd stats, Monty, just to recoup yeah, myself? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If I can get a funny pole arm with some reach, that'd be hoo hoo ha ha funny. I don't want to point um, out the obvious, but don't forget that if you succeed, this is your guys' place as well. That's, well, that's why I'm I'm not. I'm not gonna yeah, take we're not everything. loading up. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I, saying you, yeah. you can do that. Um, I'm totally fine with that. I'm just saying the excitement of this is like every room you go into is potentially going to be yours in the future. So that's potentially I don't know. for me, I'm, unless we fun. die, Monty. <laughs> I'm not getting I'm attached because I might die. I'm going to take a light crossbow and 20 bolts. You got it. Uh, I will also... I, I actually think... 
Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I was just going to say that's all I'm taking. I... You said there was a heavy crossbow in here? No, there is not. There's only no. light crossbows. It's only light and hand. Okay, that's fine. No, uh, there's no hand. It's no only hand, light. just light. Just yeah. light. Oh, just, just light. Light and longbow. I'm sorry. Wake up, yeah. Zito. Uh, yeah. I'm taking the halberd, and I'm taking a fucking a light uh, crossbow. Okay. Go ahead and add that to your inventory. The halberd is really nice. Um, anyone who would like to can roll a history check. Okay, Go ahead and move into the room, first of all, because you can't see shit oh. out in the hallway. Actually, then I won't, because I, I, I'm <laughs> trying to keep an eye out. Okay. Uh, I rolled an 18. Uh, that is a halberd from Hearthland, which is a very nice item, because the Hearthland halberdiers are a very notorious rank-and-file army unit in Hearthland, and that appears to be ah. one of their halberds. Oh, 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 oh sort of like, sort of like gasped a little bit. Ah! That's from Hearthland. The Hearthland halberdiers are quite famous. Ooh. It's um, a noble weapon you're wielding, Mr. Ragney. I'm going to also take 20 crossbow bolts, so... Okay. Yeah, how many How many more would be left after that? Uh, uh, there would be 30 left. I will take 20 as well, then. Okay. I'm just noting down what you took, guys. Took 20. Yep. And, god damn it, the inventory keeps... Running every time I try to put it up. Uh, uh, notably, Gaius, as you're kind of stalking, you know, taking the bolts in, you feel that sort of uncomfortable feeling of a cat climbing down your back as the little scepter begins to walk southward. Oh. Perhaps it's got another message from the past for us. I guess we'll follow it. Okay. Holy shit, I'm still not unencumbered. I love this. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm still fine! As you follow him uh, into the room, do all of you follow, or Iskan and Kai, you stay out in the hallway? Yeah, I'm staying out here because I'm i keeping an eye out just in case. We, we don't know. There could be something browsing these halls. You got it. All right. Milo, Otho, Do you have dark and... vision? <laughs> nope. Because neither yeah, so of it's, you do. It's, it's pitch black, by the way. If there's let no me, light let there. Let me stay out here, then. You guys go. Like, one of, someone else go in. I'm, I'm, I'm the nitwit with dark vision. You can also hand off the lantern, because you do have that as That's well. That's actually fair. I actually don't need this anymore. Who, who wants a hooded lantern? I'll take it. Very well. Okay. You have the hood and lantern now. Did it yep. need to be relit after we drank the po the poultice? Yeah, I'm assuming that happens because that's, I mean, yeah. that's a can trip. It's just light. I just boop. Okay, <laughs> now we can <laughs> see. Right. Cool. So I I will go back in then. So yeah, I'll I'll switch out that you now have ownership of the hood and lantern. All right. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind entering the southern space, as the scepter kind of is like like hopping in place, like bark 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 bark. Like, just kind of, like, hopping up and down, trying to get your what attention. What is it, boy? <laughs> it kind of begins to shake and does a similar motion to the royal chambers. And as the sort of, like, glittery sort of film enters the space, you watch as there are four forms. You see four human men, uh, very well armed, uh, definitely, like, royal guard level of, um, you know, sort of ranking. Uh, and... You see one of them's currently reading, like, kind of, like, just kind of, you know, messing with some cards or something. And the other other two are just kind of speaking. And one of them is, like, pacing back and forth. And he goes, I don't trust it. And another one goes, that's treason, Bruce. You cannot speak such a thing. We have to put trust in our king. You watch as, like, the same person who's pacing back and forth goes, I know, but something about this does not feel right. That man who came... I don't think he's just going to take what's in the vault. I feel like the king is understanding the threat of what this could be. And you, the third one who hasn't spoken up kind of goes, that's treasonous words. We must have faith in our king. He would not go astray. And you watch as the vision fades. Spoilers, he went astray probably. Mark. <laughs> Aw. Uh, are these chests just kind of 
normal? Is there a lock yeah. on them? Are they intricate? No, they seem like to be like, you know, personal effects boxes. I will open the one that's in front, just because I'm curious. You open it up. Uh, inside, you see a, a set of common clothes just kind of loaded in there. You also see what appears to be a flask, uh, a necklace, and what appears to be like a folded wooden box of some sort, and a pouch. <laughs> Bless you. Is the flask, is the, does the flask have liquid in it, or is it empty? It is a metal flask, and as you shake it, it does have liquid in it. Huh. I know this isn't the time or place, but I'm just curious if it's still good. Hmm. Well, that depends on what it is. Well, probably best not to be messing with the... You know what, I'm not going to finish that. Because <laughs> I, I almost finished saying mess with the effects of the dead. Meanwhile, he's holding the crown. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, yeah. you're literally... <laughs> I want to give the garbed in the effects of the dead. <laughs> I just could I, I need a fucking new outfit? Could uh, Otho, being the the alcohol connoisseur that he is, could he like sniff what's in the flask and see what it is? It is very nice dwarvish brandy. <whistles> that is dwarvish brandy. Also, does that mean and it's good? It should be still good. It's got a high enough alcohol content that it could probably kill anything that falls in there. Or grows in it. You know, I... I wonder. Alcohol can be good for sanitization. Hmm. Speaking of that, I, I bend down over Wark Infirmary. Oh. They cock their head and they don't. Their head doesn't turn anywhere. Huh. Hmm. Castles you know, probably don't have infirmaries. Um. I wonder about the throne room, though. Mark, you watch as uh, I guess Wark will call him that now. Yep. Uh, like <laughs> kind of turns and his head points. Uh, I'm gonna say he climbs up you, Milo, and his head points in this direction. Oh wow. That's down south and around. Is there any is there any other place we should try to check out before we start looking for this king? Wark oh, yeah. kind of climbs down your leg, Milo, and then <laughs> kind of hops twice in place and goes wark wark and then points. Interestingly enough, in this direction. Oh. 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 So it does have opinions. Wark. <laughs> Just holds up a middle finger. Mark you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so, I got two words now. So, wow. If it if it knows where Entities is, that's insane. Hmm. Run with me a little bit, considering the fact that... Well, c considering the fact that most of my knowledge of the outside world was in fantasy books, and apparently that hasn't seen us gone astray before so far. I look down at Evidently. <clears throat> Wizard chambers. Mark, he, his head doesn't move. He points in that direction. Let's go! <laughs> well, it's actually not terribly uncommon for, uh, royal keep to have a court wizard. I say Monty. we head that way. Mm -hmm. While this was all going on, um, could I do a perception check to see if I can hear anything other than them talking? Sure, go for it. Uh, 23. Very nice. You don't, you don't hear anything except for your allies. Okay. There's also like this sort of hum though, like like this is sort of ambience to the space. Um, in fact, as you look at, towards where that cauldron was, you can actually see outside the castle and it's just a wall of like that tremulous, like baleful cloud uh, that is currently just a sheet encapsulating the castle. You feel like um, looking out of that Milo, Gaius and Otho, mm -hmm. like, like a hurricane, you're kind of in the eye of the storm right now. Where the castle is untouched by this baleful sort of curse, 
but it is still like you are trapped in here. It is like a giant fucking curtain that you cannot get through. Surrounded by BSCs. Base big scary clouds, which I still yeah. love that that's a thing. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like Steve. You, I don't want to do an aside here or take up time, but Steve is the greatest because <laughs> it's a terrifying light phenomenon, and like all the people who found out about it were scared of it, so they called it Steve to make it less scary. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I love scientists, right. man. They're just huge weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we should probably follow work. I mentioned the king and just start hopping up and down, pointing that way. You mentioned the throne room. Or no, oh, you, yeah, mentioned, that... you mentioned interesting places to go and he pointed in that way. Yeah, and then you mentioned I... wizard chambers and he pointed in the same direction. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I say we head towards in that direction then. Well, welcome back. Our... The place is loaded in there. Close the doors behind you. Yep. yep. Well, it's all quiet out here. Like, really quiet. Well, my little friend here, I pick him up like how you would like hold a cat up. <laughs> my little friend here says has some very interesting places for us to look. Bark. Um, do forgive, I need a lozenge. My throat is scrunky from allergies. No worries. Okay. Terribly screwed blue. We have choices. We can either find the throne room, or we can find a wizard's chambers, both in the same direction. No, I believe the wizard's chambers, or the, the throne room, he was pointing down in that direction. He points down the hall. Okay. Uh, Mr. Brightbeam pointed out the wizard's chambers, and it was over here. I say we arm ourselves before heading to the throne room. I agree. I don't know what we'll find there. I'm a peek around the corner. Okay. Peek around the corner. What's your dark vision? Uh, 60. Okay. Give me a second. I will move the camera for Wallfly. <clears throat> That's a big hallway. How, much, how far does the light from the hood and lantern go again? Is it 60 feet as well? About the same, yeah. Got it. Yep. Well, guys. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, I was about to say, and if you want to get technical, it's 60 feet in a cone, but we all know how fun cones are in this game. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're not going to get technical like that. Uh, however, guys, you have 150 feet. 60. Oh, no, 20, 20. Oh, 120, no. yeah. 120. 120. You get a little bit more space. And behind you, there is... I'm just going to reveal this because I'm assuming you're kind of looking around. You see what appears to be a spiral, like, kind of stone staircase that leads down and two ladders that seem to go up. That's how we're getting mm. up and down this castle. At least the obvious way. Uh, I, I, I kind of, like... Absent-mindedly, I just, like, guys just, like uses like his two fingers and rubs the top of it of Wark's head. Wizard chamber. Wark, he points immediately to the west. Well, magic's this way. Let's be on our way. I'm moving ahead. Um, stupid question. Ritual mm -hmm. casting requires one to be completely still, correct? Yes. We okay. are basically standing there and, and, and casting. Okay. Uh, I will keep moving west until Wark decides that there's another cardinal direction I should be aiming towards. Okay. I'd say as you guys continue moving on, move maybe to here, because there's something interesting there. Okay. Uh, there's like a little little nook here. Doesn't really seem to have anything going on. Mm. Uh, I will give you a little more space for you. Give me a second for the wallfly people. Don't worry, don't scream, it's all fine. <laughs> Uh, as you guys continue to walk, uh, you notice that the wall has like a reset in it, and there is a giant, like, star car starved, carved face of stone that is rested up against the wall. 
Uh, unlike the dogs, this one is very realistic and frighteningly so. It's like those uh, those sun, um, you know, like those sun garden decorations that have like a face on them, and they're like really yeah. weirdly where realistic. It's, it's where, where it's like <laughs> one is like it's it's got like a black outline through the half of it in a zigzag motion. Yeah, this this is similar in like the the detail, uh, but it appears to be of an of an older bearded human man with a crown on his head. Uh, and underneath Gaius, with the with the lantern light, you're able to read King Isengel the First, like kind of engraved at the bottom and sort of like a ribbon motif. We found one king. Uh, uh, Gaius is like looks at the statue, but then like stupidly like limbo's himself underneath it in case like this thing does this funny trap. Okay, <laughs> you do a limbo. It's very impressive. Uh, nothing happens. Well, this is can the I... first one of seven. Can I investigate to see if there's... I mean, we, we've got trickery doors and, and twisty roses. Can I investigate to see if there's some kind of triggering mechanism on this thing? Sure, go for it. Uh, may I... Um... Buh, 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 buh. Yeah, yeah, you can. I know what you're okay. asking for. Yeah, you can. What okay, the candle back? Uh, no, not insight. There you are, jeez. <laughs> Never mind. That would be a six at best. <laughs> you kind of look around, but you cannot find right. anything. And huh. you said there's nothing to the south where East Gen and Kai are, right? No, it's just a nook. Okay. I thought maybe there'd be some kind of mechanism, like a like it's some kind of trap door or something, but. Uh... I don't say anything. Uh, I could take a look. If you want to. I'm going to look with my special eyes. <clears throat> special wizard eyes. <laughs> Ten. Nope. You look at the statue Ten. and like there's a little, you know, beard strands. You try and twist that and no, there's nothing. It doesn't, can't find anything. Cool. Three Stooges, Molary, Curly, poking, prodding. <laughs> Poke him in the it's eyes. More, I think it's more uh, for decoration, I guess, or, you know, something like that. Uh, Bork continues to tell me to go west. Yeah. Then I shall continue as Bork demands of me. All right. As you get closer to this door, Bork's head turns towards this door. Well, well, we've arrived. We're here. A uh, set of double doors? Yep. Open the fun... Attempt to open the funny doors. See if it's locked or not. As you attempt to open the doors, it actually opens incredibly easily. And you notice that the door is slightly off kilter because the one of the hinges is broken and the door opens up. Inside. Oh my. Oh, it's the F7 button in the in down there. <laughs> I'm well, getting hey. flashbacks to the lab from the cave. <laughs> Look out for snakes. <laughs> uh, inside of this chamber, which is... Oh, how very apt. <laughs> uh, these chambers smell sweetly of incense and alchemical mixtures. Uh, to the east, a set of alchemist supplies lies spread on a table with a formula laid out and a catalyst fluid ready and prepared. Uh, bookcases in the middle contain a, uh, a myriad of books on magical and alchemical study. This place is stacked with material. Notably, though, Gaius, as you enter inside, uh, there is sort of like a like a um, coppery smell as well mixed in. Hmm. Metallurgy, at least from what I can smell. Brother, would you like to go in this time, and I'll stay out here with Mister Seed Lolly? I'm gonna need the lantern. Uh, here. Kai will take the lantern. I give him a look. He'll kind of limp in. <clears throat> Welcome to 
to the plunder party. Let me know if you see anything, Otho. Will do. My Milo. Was... Yes. As you see that note on the desk, you find this. Oh. Uh oh. <gasps> Scared. Sever the binds, crush unicorn horn, boiled dragon scale, holketh holy water, mithril fillings, mix all components and drink to service. Your service to king is made and done, but free thy soul from eternal servitude. Thusly harm to the crown is not yours to bear. Oh, I don't like that. Marvin? This guy's name was Mar- Wow. His name is Mervin. Mervin. Mockin' Marvin. <laughs> okay. Mervin. <laughs> oh my god. His spirit like comes like just busts through the floor. <laughs> Who the fuck said my name? <laughs> Mix all what? components and drink. A service to the king is made and done. But free thy soul from eternal servitude. Thusly harm to the crown is not yours to bear. It sounds I, like... I, oh, good. I have a curse theory. Yeah? Point hat is Mervin. Oh my god. <laughs> this this sounds like some kind of... I don't know. I, I don't like this idea that your service to the king is made and done. But free thy soul etern from eternal servitude. It's like sounds some kind... Sounds sacrificial. That's what I'm saying. It's like they drink that, and they turn into, I don't know, some kind of undead thing? I'll, uh, I'll take that. The, uh, the note. Okay. I am not a magic's man, but I will do some rifling to see if I find any cool, funny things. Roll an investigation check. Not my best, but here I go! It is all papers, and it's all terribly organized. Uh, you aren't able to find anything of interest. Uh, uh, having found that paper, may I do an investigation? Uh, on the desk? Uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, because you never know if, if some of this... I'm, I'm looking for these different um, components. Okay. Go ahead and roll an uh, investigation check. Uh, may I guidance? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see here. 15. That is exactly the DC. As you're looking through the desk, you look underneath and you notice there's a small button. And as you go to press it, a crawl space opens up as you find a secret door. Oh! Put the candle back. <laughs> Oh, uh, and you notice on the yeah. other side, folding open, appears to be a bookshelf that's a door. Holy shit, I was right. <laughs> uh, guys, I think I found something. Oh, there's a, there's a secret passageway over here. It is like... For you, Milo, it's like you have to duck your head. For everybody else, you have to get on your hand, hands and knees. It's like a duct, almost. I'm gonna run out really quick. Uh, although, Iskan, we found something. You might want to come see this. <clears throat> oh, excuse uh, me. Okay. Hope we don't get snuck up on from behind. You want me to stand guard, then? You got the best eyes out of all of us. You close the door behind you, Otho? Might as well. Door closed. Give me one second. Thank you for your patience as I adjust my map. <clears throat> Well, I will step in as I fit the best. All right. As you step inside, it is pitch black in here. I, uh, Go ahead I, I, and I, move. Yep. 
That's all I... you see. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Just this tiny little crawl space. Yeah, it's a, like a tiny little tunnel. Um... That's... I was, I was just going to... Do what? Move one more tile to the right, and then you can see the room. Okay. <laughs> As you walk through... That's... Oh, that's why... Roll 20. Sorry, roll 20 was acting up a little, a little funny there. No, it's fine. You find a secret shrine. Oh. And at first you're scared, because it's a giant cloaked figure with a scythe, and you're like, ah! And then you're like, oh, wait, it's like the statue we fought at when we fought Wormtongue. It's almost identical oh, to that. Oh, gotcha. Uh, and you, you see a singular pew that sits in front of it, as well as a myriad of candles. And behind you, Milo, is what appears to be a false bookshelf. Uh, with the other two sides of it actually containing, like, scripture and things like that. Oh, hey, hey, hey guys! It's a... It's like a... tiny little... Uh, hidden chapel to Holketh or something in here. You, you yeah. might want to come see this. Looks yeah. towards Kai. <laughs> Gestures towards the door. Uh, he's gonna try to hand you back the lantern so you can go through. Uh, okay. Uh, you might be more interested than me, but... There's nothing terribly ominous looking in here, is there? Except no, it, it, the big cloak figure with the scythe. Yeah, the big cloak figure with the scythe is a little scary, but you know who that is. You know yeah. that that's a, that's a, a deity that's attached to Hoketh, so it does actually feel like some comfort. Oh, that's um, scary. There's some candles. Um, it definitely seems like a very serene space, albeit it's quiet like a gavel right now because, you know, it, it feels locked away almost. Mm. Uh, mm. Investigation to find anything of value in here? Um, as you look around, uh, with a, just a carrying over your investigation from before, Okay. Um, there's nothing of value. You see, like, incense, things like that, but nothing that would really sell for much. It's a very humble little shrine area, honestly. Definitely sure. very secret. That looks like there's more over here, too. Should we keep going this way? Looks to Otho and... Yeah, what's my name? Yeah. What's my name? <laughs> Come on, Gaijin. You know it. An E scan. <laughs> then there's E scan. He's not dead. He's there. Hey. He's there. Uh, well, it depends. Are we. Do we think we're going to find anything over there that's going to be of immediate use to us? I mean, no more so than anywhere else we've explored. And there's something in here. This place is kept secret, but seeing a symbol of Holketh, I don't know. Something's telling me there might be something important in here. Well, if uh, that's the case, then let's proceed. Uh, Both of you have better eyes in this instance than I do. I might look around this statue a little bit, <clears throat> see if I can find anything. I'm going to try and reopen the passageway call out to uh Gaius and Kai how to go in yeah Gaius there's something more in here there's like another passageway all right let me just uh smash brother slide a myself in here you got it you're gonna have to dash cancel actually <laughs> do you wait, do we have to climb wait, on the wait, desk to get in here no, it's underneath the desk, so it's like it's like a crawl space that's like carved oh, that's out underneath worse. the desk. Yeah, oh, so you have to get on your hands and knees to like crawl through. Yeah, you'll hear Kai making a lots of grunts as he drags himself across the floor. <laughs> the hair, his big <sighs> hair just like hits every side of the <sighs> tunnel. You just hear squeaking noises. <sighs> Having trouble, brother? Shut up. <clears throat> <sighs> Mark. Mark. Uh, okay. This is gonna be unorthodox, but secret death chamber. <laughs> it just blinks twice at you. Oh, thank God. That's terrifying. If it had turned in a direction. You know. Oh my God. 
I really <laughs> heavily doubt that any castle has a secret death chamber. Yes, they do. It's called dungeons. <laughs> then say dungeons. Trying not oh. to be phased by this conversation, I'm gonna look down the hallway. <laughs> Milo, you get Mark, penis in explosion another... chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Milo, oh uh, yes, he found ye old toilet. He points down. We're in it. Oh no. <laughs> Milo, you turn the corner and get jump scared again as what appears to be a human sized like, robed Hoketh cleric like statue that is currently holding what appears to be a censer. Mm. Like I said, like the, the toilet. Well. Uh, there's a sign underneath that says, please do not pee on the holy statue. <laughs> I, may, 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 may I feel around and investigate for anything, either switches or items that... Sure, go for it. Investigation check. Okay. I would like to do the same with the large chambers. statue. May, I will uh, say this: there's yes. nothing on the large statue that is well, out of the okay. ordinary. Uh, can I? May I guidance before I do this roll? Yes, you may. You may. Okay. Investigation. That's really bad. That's a six. It's just a statue. Is the canter like fused to it? Uh, it's like holding it up, like kind of like uh, um, sort of like how you'd hold a torch, but it's like hanging down below the the fist it's got like a sort of like chain and then it leads to like the sort of like gently swinging sort of stone sensor at the bottom hmm. can i remove can i remove the sensor okay as you go and you oh. reach up and try and remove the sensor you pull it and as you do you and you watch as immediately to the uh right of you two secret doors open Oh How many God. secret chambers are I? I don't know. Can we ask Wark for just a directory? It might make this easier. <laughs> Can you ghost me? Where's the hot map? topic? I just thought it was a cool sensor. All right. Wark, where's the Spencers? Where's the bed twice. bath? Where's the bed bath and beyond? Wark, food twice. court. Where's the food court? <laughs> where's the food court? Do you say food court? Where's the Savaros? No. Do you say food court? Do you say food? Uh, uh, no, this is out of character. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, guys, there's another secret passageway. Oh boy. Another one? Sorry. You know, I've heard. No, don't. You didn't. You weren't the architect. It's just. Wark, secret chambers. <laughs> Wark like actually, like. Part. Wark kind of, like, looks down and does, like, a spinning motion. Oh! Where you are. Is it. Head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's just like the it's like a, P, a PNG animation of a realistic explosion. <laughs> Monty, I want to close this secret door before we continue yeah. onward. Easy enough. You just fold the shelf back into place, and as you place it back, you watch as one of the book that's been pulled forward <coughs> clicks back into spot. I, I would just like to note which book that is specifically, yeah. so we can find our way back. Or yeah, you know, our you, way to you, the GameStop. <laughs> Milo, as you, uh -huh. you know, you're waiting for your companions to come in, the door slowly begins to close and the sensor locks back into place. It seems to only stay open for a short period of time. Well, that's interesting. Uh, so I don't know if this is a one way trip, but after I pull the sensor, I hear the door closes after a while. It might be there for quick getaways. Or something. Uh, or something indeed. I'm fine with going through. Um, should someone stay behind just in case? Mm. Uh. Or do you all want to stick as a group? I feel like we should all stick as a group for yeah, this. Stick. All right, that's fine. Uh, I guess everyone bunch up and I'll give it another tug. Hey, you. Oh. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Speed run, speed run, speed run. Parkour. As you run across, no, no, no. I'm just going to reveal this for you. You see an identical sort of L-shaped chamber with an identical statue with a sensor on it. Oh. Neat. Alright, never mind. I guess that's the way we get back out then. Did we just find the fucking, like, Symphony of the Night mirror room of the wizard's chamber? <laughs> We're heading into the upside down version of the same. Room. Oh shit! Oh my god! It's the castle the, upside the, down. The, the, the wizard sitting there on its at a chair. <laughs> Thank you. 
You finally arrived. I, I assume this is a wall in front of you me. You do Bonnie. see a wall, but you do see that there's an like sort of a something coming out of it, like a small button at the end with the light. Hmm. I uh I'll go push a da button. Alright. As you push a da button, the door ahead of you does a similar motion. It sinks into the ground. Uh, and as you find yourself back in Lynn's study, you watch as the dog statue, the tail goes back up into place. Huh. Well. Damn. All right. Well, that seems to have taken us a side route then. Um, should we go back the way we came? Can we Wait, save where time does it lead? Back to the wizard room? Yeah, you guys can head back to the wizard's room. Okay. Uh, it takes us back to Lynn's chamber. That's interesting. <laughs> So, I shun Poe back to the wizard room. So she had direct access to that hidden shrine. Although, that begs the question, why was it hidden? Why would she need to hide that? It's not like it's some kind of evil deity, it's Holketh. But we still haven't really explored this place thoroughly. Hmm. That's just it's kind of disconcerting, Zol. What's all these funny doodads? Uh, it's a set of alchemist supplies, uh, and there's a, a formula, a very, very complicated formula laid out, and a catalyst fluid ready and prepared. Work, is this where they keep the Baja Blast? <laughs> Work just looks at you and says nothing and doesn't do anything. I love our conversations, Work. Mark. <laughs> well, doesn't seem like there's anything in here that we could use. Work begins to climb down your shoulder and lands on the ground. You watch as again, it starts to kind of do that shaking motion as that glittery film enters the space once again. You see a human man, a human wizard, kind of like, you know, heavier set, um, you know, mutton chops on the side, bald head, wearing very nice robes, currently like hurriedly like shoving things like kind of around and like messing with this alchemical table. And you see him kind of, kind of sweating he goes, I, I just need more components. I'm running out of time. And you watch as he turns behind you and you see the door slam inwards and you see the king kind of loading himself in and you notice that he has another body merged to him. Oh. oh. And he's got a massive sword in his hand and you watch in an instant where the king just bears down and drives the sword into the stomach of the wizard and pulls it back and then slowly makes its way back out. And you notice as the vision fades that there's a blood stain on the ground, but there's no body. Ah, uh, what the sh Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck, come on, it was too easy! <laughs> yeah. Witness your doom. The poor Mervyn. <sighs> His last words of, I'm running out of time, I'm running out of time. Wait! I, 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 I take the, uh, I take the, uh, components list back out. Mix all the components and drink, because service to the king is made and done, but free thy soul from turn. This is the op- this is probably the opposite effect. Free thy soul from eternal servitude. Eternal servitude would be like, on death, right? Well, if, if you drink that, then maybe you pass. Thusly harm to the crown is not yours to bear. He was probably looking for, like, a, a, an antidote or- some way to turn people back, or at least put them to rest. You think that this mixture will somehow sever the king's soul from whatever he just became? Uh, that might be the case. Where are we but, gonna sir, find the shopping list of all these things, though? I, I, I don't know. He may have them here. If, if I, I don't know, look around. Wark, unicorn horn, shop it on Amazon. He cocks his head. Damn it. It seems like it seems like Orc can't find specific things, but it can find specific rooms. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've got plenty of shelves. Let's let's split up our tasks. I'll look for the crushed unicorn horn. Uh Mr. Seat Lolly, you look for a boiled dragon scale. I don't Milo, know what that looks like, but okay. You can <laughs> look for Hoketh holy water. Right. Brother, you can look for mithril fillings. Also, you guys already have that. You already have Ho Hoketh Holy Water. Yeah, I was going to say above yeah, game we have it, but I was also going to oh. say it in game, but you got also, it. Also, above game, it's filings, not fillings. Just everybody. Yeah. Yeah, filings. Ah. Sorry. I'm going to look for a scale that's like yours, except bigger. 
So you guys have a choice here. You're going to take 20 minutes to search, or you can all make a group investigation check of your group choice. Group investigation, please. Yeah, group check. Okay. Will this be guidable, or is it too long? No, it is over okay. a course of time, yeah. Group okay. check, group check, yeah! yeah. Uh, that's oh, a 21. Oh, oh. That's a 6. Uh, oh. Okay. The up now. Here I go! Ha ha! Oh, oh, natural 20. Okay, balance. Well, that offsets Zeno's Ooh. natural 1. <laughs> so yeah. we've got 6. Oh. oh. And I ruined <laughs> it. I the beast! <laughs> <laughs> I ruined it. As you all kind of begin to dig through all of the stuff, you come to the stunning realization that Mervyn was running at a time because he did not have the components that he needed. Mm. And you get the sense that he was ah. trying to figure out where to get them. So he didn't find any of the components. No, they're not in this space if they exist. I can't believe how neutral we are as a party, guys. Just true neutral. I have All no right. strong feelings one way or the other. Well, we got doors here, yeah. I neither agree or disagree. Yeah, you I was do, just yeah. gonna ask, did we did we check these doors? <laughs> <laughs> if, not, if, if nothing else though, this might be a concoction we could use later. I will say this, Escan and Otho, I'm gonna give you guys something. Okay. Oh. Uh, roll for me, E scan a d4, please. One d4. Mm. That's a one. That's really good. You find a backup spell book when you're searching. You actually find, Ooh. like, a essentially a copy of probably Mervyn's spell book before he died. Oh my god. Uh, oh, sick. And it's pretty stacked, actually, as you kind of Damn. flip through it. A court um, mage's spell book. Yeah, it contains the following spells written out. Mage Armor. Shit. Magic Missile. Unseen Servant. For the level 1 spells. For the level 2 spells, it contains Cloud of Daggers. Oh. Mi Misty Step. And Web. Third level spells. Oh. It contains Fireball. And Stinking Cloud. Mm -hmm. For its fourth level spells, oh my god, oh my god. it contains Everd's Black Tentacles, Stone Skin, and for its fifth level spells, <laughs> it contains Cloud Kill, Holy shit. and Conjure Elemental. Fuck's oh sake. my god. The hell Is that all of them? That is all the spells that are in the spell book. Okay. Uh, upon finding said book, uh, you'll just hear from the corner, uh, Kai? Uh, yeah? I think I found something for you. What's up? Well, it's a book. I like books. What kind of book? A spell book. Whew. I'm guessing it's Mervyn's. Uh, that'd be my guess as well. Yeah, can I take a look at it? He's just gonna hand it to you. Just fucking put it in your inventory. I wrote the spells down. I'll give them to you later. <laughs> uh, I was writing them down too. We'll check. Okay. Later. Cool. Uh, Otho, <clears throat> roll a d4 for me, please. Huh? I also re -roll? rolled a one. I need your re-roll. I also rolled a three. You find a backup backup spell. Uh, you find wow. a spell. You actually do find a spell scroll. Of, oh, of I'm going to butcher this, so please forgive me. Aga Nazar's Scorcher. Ooh. Oh. I see. I appear to have found another magical object here. Some sort of spell, I'd wager. Any idea? 
Uh, <laughs> could I be able to d divine what this this does? Or it is an evocation spell. That's what you're able to ascertain. Something, uh, something to do with elements. I think. That's all I'm getting. I'm not. I'm not versed in this like my brother is. What happened? Hmm. We found a scroll containing some kind of spell. Uh, Agonazar Scorcher. Does that ring any bells? Yes, that is a new spell, actually. Um, it is a spell that was discovered in Alabast uh, many years ago. Uh, a line of roaring flame, 30 feet long and 5 feet wide, emanates from you in a direction you choose. Each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw, and the creature takes 3d8 fire damage on a fail save or half as much damage on the successful one. Uh, above game, I am familiar with the spell in game. Do I know by any chance not just where it was created, but who created it? Or do I only know where it was created? It was made in Alabast. Mm. You know that. It came okay. from Alabast, so. Got it. But I don't know the mage that actually made it. You don't know. It's you're you're sure that a lot of people probably tried to take credit for it as, as tradition, but probably some guy named Agonazar. Agonazar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I assume it's named after him. Bullshit. There could be, a lot. There could be like seven Agonazers. We don't know. Yeah. Uh, Name spells yeah, after themselves. Agonazar yeah, that's from the a com eighteen. That's a completely different continent. Oh, something exotic then. Yeah, and I've read about it. It's oh, so. fairly new. Oh. Also during your investigation, you find a very interesting, <clears throat> well, well used book. Um, and as you flip through it, because you rolled a natural 20, I'm going to give this to you. You're Ooh. able to ascertain the nature of the veil piercer. Uh, not the entirety of it. It seems to be a very dense subject based off of this book. But as you're kind of skimming through this book, kind of looking for information, one, it is a relic of the Great Mage War. Um, and Ooh. almost makes you kind of almost drop the book. It is the birthplace of the spell teleportation circle. Uh, excuse me. This oh. is where the teleportation spell was born. Wow. Was in this castle. Yeah. Oh, so just slowly turns over to Wark. Well. Uh, interesting. Mark. Apparently, this... Uh, Wark. Apparently, this is the... Where the teleportation circle spell? Teleportation yeah. circle? Teleportation, teleportation magic, circle spell yeah. was invented. That's insane. I hold Wark Wait, like here? A, you would a, I hold Wark like you would a cat and like have him face me. Okay, Wark, you have to tell me and you <sighs> teleport. Wark. Holy shit, he knows how to teleport, guys. He kind of, like, the eyes kind of narrow. You teleported with him. <laughs> he teleported <laughs> you here. Guy is just not yeah, the smartest. He's not the sharpest one in this head. Is fair. I Guy just, is I his eyes it. blink separately. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have a negative two <laughs> to my. I have I have an eight in intelligence. Please, Otho will stash this book away. It might it. be interesting for later. Um. Well, for right now, are we going to check out the rest of these rooms that are tied to this one? I suppose we right. should. Uh, how's the lock on the door I'm next to? Uh, it is unlocked. As you. <laughs> Ooh. Open it up. Yes, I will give it a open. Bed. bed. There is a bed. One second, I'm gonna grab the bedroom thing. A large bed occupies the space, and bits and baubles hang from the ceiling. This is like Howl's moving castle. You know Howl's room. It's kind of like that. Ah. Uh. A lot of the items look to be like unmagical and a little bit mundane, like just little knickknacks. Uh, a shelf to the south wall contains jars of specimens, skulls, candles in a closed box bearing a lightning bolt symbol. Interesting shelving in here. What do you mean? 
It's a chest with a lightning bolt and a bunch of doodads on a wall. Can I identify the lightning bolt as anything religious? Religion check. Okay. Please, a high roll once. Eight. It's too plain to be anything religious, so you're oh, not sure. Okay. Notably, you don't see a clasp on it or like a lock on it. It is just a closed box. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wanted to see what was inside. You have detect magic up, right? Uh. I did. Probably, has been, I was about to say, has, has that been a while? Yeah, I'll say, I'll say you still have it. Um, okay. You get on the box. You detect a sort of like combo of evocation and divination cocktail on the box. Oh, oh, it's trapped. Yeah, I, I think that's that's horribly trapped. It doesn't give off the energy of a trap. Something about it seems different. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. And it's just a, it's just a box right like it, it it's got it is, a lid it's or... like it's like the size you know like a shoebox lid uh-huh imagine two shoebox lids sandwiched together that's about the size of it it is like a black inlay box with like a lightning bolt running across it on the top well, <coughs> let me take i'll take the brunt of damage if it has anything on it i will open it okay you go to open it it is like closed like you just like use all your strength it will not open Hold up the halberd. I will not be outdone by a box. <laughs> well, easy, easy. Um, I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to knock on it. Okay, you knock on it. Nothing happens. Okay. Well, that's out. Although, have you ever seen anything like this before? Uh, have I? No, not at all. I have not. You said evocation and divination, right? Yeah. Is there anything on the shelf that could align itself to any of this? No, not at all. Is the box heavy? Uh, <laughs> that's my answer. It's like, not heavy. It, could, could we it's, pick it's... it up? Oh yeah, easily. I mean, like Gaius is holding it right now. It's like the okay. size of like it feel, It's it weighs like the same as like a like a small binder filled with paper is the best way to describe the weight. I wonder if you can activate it and like something comes out of the box. It's evocation and divination. I I don't know. Typically, that means something to come out. Something's made. Can any of us shoot lightning? Uh, you know what? You know what kind of energy I wield. <laughs> I wouldn't Perhaps want to there's some sort of password you need to say before you can open the, the box. Pretty please. Nothing happens. Is there anything oh, under the God is damn there, it, this is why I can't be nice. Is there anything under the bed real quick? Uh you check underneath the bed, it is just yeah. there's just dust bunnies. Okay. I thought maybe there'd be some kind of instructions around. Wait a second. I'm going to look around the box. Is there anything else written? Nope, it's just a lightning bolt on the top. Dang. I don't think a wizard would need instructions for his own magic box. Try open sesame? Well, nothing that didn't happens. work. Either. <laughs> yeah, nothing happens. Thunderstrike? Uh, Hmm. Is this a is this a mystery for later? I guess it's just we keep finding more information about this place and what's going on and well we'll keep finding more information the more we explore the fact of the matter is that we have a task to do and we can only be so prepared. E scan. Your passive yes. perception is ridiculously high. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> It's 21. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's just really funny that you just like, it's ridiculously high. What is As you're like kind of near the door that's to the south of you, from the other side of the door, you begin to hear what sounds like metal dragging across stone. 
Uh, I'm gonna kind you... of. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was gonna say I'm gonna uh, silently flash uh, the lantern towards Kai a few times to get his attention, and then move back towards this area where everybody else is. Guys, there's there's noises coming from the door to the south. Well, get in here and hoid. Kai, come on. Ow, my ankle. Wrong way, dingus. <laughs> it's the quick. I'm blind, and it's the quickest way. Shut the fuck up. As all of you kind of quietly kind of hide, you hear the sound of dragon metal get closer and closer. Did we shut the door? We shut did. The door? I'll yeah. put out the lantern. We did. If we shut the door, Kai's on his own. He didn't follow. As the door is shut, Kai, you're the only one who hears this. The rest of you hear like the far off sound of metal, but Kai, you hear a horrifying voice. Carolyn! Carolyn! Oh God. Carolyn! No, 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 please go away, please go away. It curls past this door and it fades for a while. But then again, you hear footsteps moving across this path to the north. Go away, you All of you feel a tug in your core towards the sound of these footsteps. All of you, almost like a, like a just, there's a thread in your belly button that's being pulled. But eventually the footsteps fade and everything becomes silent once more. And that's where we're going to take our break. Oh, oh boy. Uh. Mr. X, but worse. Oh, boy. Potty time. You it's wanted the birthday like skeleton. <laughs> All right, Mr. happy birthday. <laughs> I'm going to make tea. I'll be right back. I gotta pee really it's pee-pee time. Well, uh, I guess that means it's time for the Bosco Halftime Show. What up, y'all? Hope you guys are enjoying the session so far. Maybe. Possibly. Who knows? If you're not, thank you for sticking around so long. We appreciate it. I suppose. Uh, Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 95 bits. Monty, I didn't ask how big the room was. I said I cast Fireball. Dude, I was casting some fireballs. You want to talk about some fireballs? I was playing Shadowrun over the weekend. I was hitting every motherfucker with a fireball. Like, god dang. But, uh, yeah. Good times. Oh, by the way, I have a fun story that I can tell while Mark isn't here. Uh, <laughs> so, true story. Mark and I got to work professionally together today for the first time, which was really cool. I can't say on what, I can't say what we did, but it was really cool. It was the first time we've ever done the booth thing together. It was a lot of fun. So yeah. If any of you ever been on YouTube and you check out Mass Effect Protocol, it was like a fan series thing that we did. He's worked with me before, but we've never like professionally done it. So today was really cool. Uh, Venon Norvius, thank you for the 900 bits. Carolyn, where'd she go? She did, like legit. Did it involve notching an arrow? I can't say. I, I'm not allowed to say anything. Okie dokie, they give you the 1,080 bits. Recently got a major promotion at work, and I want to share the love. Bernard Vaughn, they give you the 100 bits. Oh, my gosh. There's so much going on. Uh, Bernard Vaughn, they give you the 100 bits. Hot take. Fireball is a trash spell that hurts the party. You all like a bad meme. Damn. Well, that's going to be bad when we hit level five, then. <laughs> what do you mean I can't count? I can count. <sighs> How dare you, Protoss? I wonder if this is a sign that we should get on with the boss fight. Uh, no, this is a sign that if we're going to explore, there's a chance we can get caught. I did something very similar in Ravenloft to what's going on right now. Well, interestingly so enough, interestingly enough, it, it's almost like he's the only one there. Because we would have run Correct. something else by now. So Correct. Th this, I think this, this might very well be a Mr. X situation. Correct. 
I very, I very much enjoy what this is. Mm-hmm. Monty knows what she's doing, and she knows what I do to her. Uh, I think I got everybody. Yeah. Oh, uh, Zen Litta, thank you for the 100 bits. I'd like to welcome the campaign's new mascot, who will be voiced by the ever-talented Wark Allen Jr. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Sun, thank you for the 250 bits. Dang it. The last scene was spine-shelling pants, soiling terror, inducing scare. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. Y'all are level three, and this already feels endgame shit. I know. That's Which why means the stakes are about to get does. a lot higher. Yeah. Money is very pump- good at what she does. You sent Pumpkin Jack upon them. Jack never fought them. No. He had other can- people fight them, but he never fought them. It's Candle Yet. Jack. It's, his name isn't Candle Jack. Oh, you said it. I guess I Real meta, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Hot take. God. Melf has done more for Magic in 5e than Tasha has. And, oh my gosh, I lost it. And... Acid Arrow Minute Meteors are sick as heck. I agree they are. Blackfoot Fairy, thank you for the heart bits. Appreciate it. Mm, I'm going to wash my hands really quick. Also, congratulations on your 400k bit badge, Meta. Appreciate your patronage. Also, I don't know what it is, but we have more people here than I think I've seen in a quite some time. So if those, those of you that are catching up on YouTube and joining us for the first time live or... Those of you who have been watching us live but had school and are back, welcome back or welcome in for the first time either way. Bosco, would you rather eat lunch or work out with Worf? Lunch with Riker, work out with Worf. I want to work out with Worf. Worf is badass. Protoss, thank you for the five bits. So anyone playing Mega Man on Friday? Uh, I yes. know Bracky is. Brachyzoid is going to be doing it. Check yes. out Bracky. Mega Man Battle Network Collection. Yahoo! Uh, yes. The, the answer is yes. Yes. I wonder Mother how that's going to work. I, I, I told them we got to work together today. You're not supposed fun. to say. It's a secret. It's a, no, I didn't say anything other than that. <sighs> I'm going to have to sue you for breaking NDA. It's true. I, it's true. Damn. I'm dead, guys. It was nice knowing y'all. I wonder how uh, we're going to handle the... Uh, different versions for the Mega Man Battle Network collection. I don't know. What do you mean? Are you just going to have both? Well, there's there's like there's like Mega Man Battle Network Proto Man version and then Oh, I assume the they're version. all going to be in the collection. Or it'll mm. be cuz I know they did for a couple of them they did like combo editions. Cuz I remember the so whole weird. Pokemon idea. All versions are available? Work. Sorry. Yeah. All versions are available. Cease, citizen. Thanks, uh, Bruno, thank you for the 100 bits. Remember, YouTube folks, to start your comment saying hi to Bosco. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? You skip all these breaks. No, they don't. Actually, funny you should say that, Burnout. I've been reading the YouTube comments, and they made it very, very clear about two episodes ago. A lot of them don't skip this, and if they do skip it, they didn't comment. So there we go. Um, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you again for the, the unicorn snowman bits. Appreciate that. Oh, God, is that an R call? It sure is. Oh, <laughs> huh? In the chat. Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean okay. where? Like, no, he's in the call, Monty. What? He's here in our hearts. Here I am. Greetings and salutations, up. everyone. I'm on the show. Weehaw. The R call is coming from within. The <laughs> weehaw? He would never say weehaw. Now he will. Our call for you. Yes, say he, now he will, despite me. He'll do it next Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, Protoss, thank you for the five bits. Sorry, Connor. Team uh, Colonel is the canon game and not Proto Man. Uh, Colonel well, has an extra scene being... for the. Hold on. I lost it. For ending. the ending. Well, enjoy being not as cool as Proto Man. Damn. All right. I'm back. I also have TN. And I'm by. <gasps> also, holy cow. B52 makes a silent night. Thank you for the 12,000 bits. Holy shit. Uh, finally got a night off. Don't have to wake up in five hours to go to work. So happy to be watching it. And Arkov, thank you so it. much for pinning that. Arkov says, Monty's a cute nerd. And thank you for pinning Let's that in Miss Tweedums. <laughs> she is a very cute nerd. It's, it's pinned in chat now. It yeah, is pinned in chat. It's, it's what? Canon. Monty is a, yep, it's cute. Monty's Confirmed a cute nerd. I see it. Now. Get yeah, over it. Can we yep. add that to the wiki page, please? Yeah, oh, just absolutely. add that to her DM section, right, please. T- TV tropes, make sure I need, I need a scathing and absolutely extensive bit of lore drop about this. Yeah, like you see, Arkov says a Monty's thing. A cute nerd. 
I just want to shout out to everyone who's here because, like, as, as people who follow me on Twitter probably know, I pulled an all nighter to get everything done for today. Oh yeah. yeah. So, and I wanted to make sure everything was good. So I appreciate everyone being here and my players being here and everything because it, it makes it totally fucking worth it. Like, I mean, it's fun I... anyway, but it's like it's just like ah, oh, thank God. If I if I didn't know that we could theoretically own this castle, I would be like, I want to explore every room for six hours. We could hours. spend days here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's still two other levels that we know of. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. We didn't even check any of the other directions on the ground nope. floor. Nope. Assuming it's the hey, ground floor. Hey, check this out. Teleports one side of the room to the other. And... <laughs> it would be a lot easier if we could teleport everywhere. It would be. It's about I was about to say above game, we might as well just go find King, put King down, and then and then explore. Honestly, yeah, I have a feeling well, but we might find things that would help with King. Rub Zito? I said I don't think that's gonna be as easy as you made it sound like it would be. <clears throat> but here, King, I throw this box at your head. Fall. It's okay. We've got Wark. We'll be fine. Just punches. Like, walking, you imagine like, you say that and you just turn around and Wark is running the other way. This is like an <laughs> outline of where he used to be. We have a Wark. He's gone back to just scepter mode with a, a little sign that says no Wark here. <laughs> wark you, I'm out. <laughs> Are we good to go? Evie, I, I hear you. about what happens on Thursdays. I don't need advice from you. <laughs> I know what you do. Yeah, guys, I think we should take an eight-hour rest before. Yeah, we let's take an eight-hour rest yeah, while the yeah, king yeah, walks yeah, around. Yeah, I think that's smart, right shall we? Yeah, now. that's a good call. <laughs> I'm just finishing eating. Sorry, I'm very hungry. Oh, okay. No, you're no, good. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Evie <laughs> says, "Listen here." <laughs> <laughs> He's a cat I man. It. I was so against that. You were smart. See, you get it. I know you and Zan are smart. I know you were against it. I'm pretty sure Bracky talked you into it. No, Zan voted for the rest, actually. Oh, probably because he's a troll. I don't he was sowing chaos. Yeah. He was. He was. Shay and Evie who were both like, we don't want to take a rest, and everyone else is like, we want to take a rest. Uh, he probably realized he'd have to break the tie and decided he would do something it, fun. Here's here's a little little advice. Uh, if you're fighting an intelligent creature in Dungeons and Dragons, a powerful intelligent creature, don't give it time to plan. Just don't do that. I'm almost finished, In sorry. character, I get it. Out of character, end me. Yep. <laughs> do do not take a long rest in in the minds of Finn Delver. No. Nope. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh, that was a hell of but a time. But Connor, all rests in the mind of Finn Delver are long rests. Very. Especially long, long if you fail. Yeah, eternal rests, really. Also, just oh hey to, look, there's that to, reference going over my head. Just again. to share with everybody, I currently have a bunny cat uh, lying on the floor, smooshing her face into the crevice between my the top of my foot and my ankle. Um, and this is where she's decided she's comfortable right now. So <laughs> sounds like you're lucky. I am for now until she decides she's gonna break another blind. Oh God! I just looked down at the date. Yeah. All right. What's wrong with the date? I can't believe at midnight my fucking skin's gonna turn gray. Are Is you it into a Goliath? No. Oh, worse. Oh no. He's, he's turning into. You're turning into a stone golem. He's turning into a thirty-year-old. All right. You guys ready to get back into it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I guess so. Yes, sir. No. 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 Sorry, one. No. Take my foot back. Sorry. She looked at me so upset. She's like, foot. It's not my birthday. Happy birthday, Connor. Yeah, happy birthday. Thank you. And yeah. happy birthday to John, too. Happy birthday to John. Also, hey, yo, happy birthday, birthday to again. Midnight. Say happy goodbye birthday to your midnight. kneecaps. Happy birthday, Evie. All hail Lord, e uh, or Lord English. Happy birthday, Mark. No, thanks, Bosco. Happy no birthday, King Isaac. Happy death day, King Isaac. Happy death happy unbirth. No, Thank that's you. no, that's not that's not <laughs> no. I just remember Monty figuring out what that was and it no. kits me every time. No no. Uh that's great. Alright. <clears throat> Monty, you ready? 
after a short period of time, as the sound subsides, all of you kind of a shaky breath leaves your lips. What in every hell was that? My guess that was the king. Guys, anybody? Psst. Open door. Yeah. I'd like to walk the dinosaur, please. Very well. Well, you are the you are the wait you are the dinosaur. Thank you. Okay. Kai, Kai, are you alright? Yeah, did anybody else hear that? No, we were in the other room. <laughs> he was calling out for Len. That was the king. Did anyone else feel a tug? Yeah, I'll like at your from stomach. The very being. Yeah, uh, I felt that too. From my core, yeah. Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps that's what this potion ingredient list is for. If that is the king, I think we're all tied to it through our deaths. Then how do we break free? With the, with the potion. But if we stop the king and if we, it's to like a free his spirit. Do we free our spirits too? If that's the case, then what hope do we have? If the ingredients aren't here, we can't leave. Can't go shopping. What exactly did the note say again? He Mix all it. components and drink. Your service to your king is made and done, but free thy soul from eternal servitude. Thusly harm to the crown is not yours to bear. I think it means harm to the crown. Wait a second. If what if we attack him and it hurts us because we're tied to him? That's precisely what I was thinking. It's th there are spells that can when you hurt something, it can send it back to you. That's probably why we feel tied to him. So if we don't drink this potion, I, I don't even think we can kill him or whoever, stop him. Whoever did this to Eason Vale obviously doesn't want it undone, and therefore they would have a safeguard. So we, we have we to were... figure out this potion. Uh, is Wark still on Gaius' shoulder? Yep. Uh, Iskan's gonna look towards Wark. Uh, is there any boiled dragon scale here? Wark kind of, like, cocks her head side to side and thinks for a while. And their eyes kind of narrow as if they're a deep thought. Wark. And they point <laughs> directly down. Okay. We so guys, we might have the ingredients. They might be in the castle, but how they know locations. Do they can't find items, right? Wark sounded a little unsure, but at least has maybe a guess just based okay. on your disposition. Wark. Uh alchemic lab. Alchemy. His head like points the one towards we're standing the desk. In? <laughs> yeah, his head points okay, towards the well, desk. Okay, so that's in here. Great. Um Mark. I think it's worth a try. Yeah, we could go to the lower floor. Just go be careful. Well, we know the king went north, so this door to the south should be clear. It said, wait a second, it said crushed unicorn horn. Uh, stable? Work, stable? Work. He watches his head turns down and towards the, uh, towards the east in this direction. So that's Brother, down I... into the east. That might, there might be unicorns in the stable. I don't know. Why would there be unicorns in a stable for horses? I, I don't know. Well, look, let's just go downstairs. We, we know where we're going. We gotta go downstairs Exotic either pet. way. I don't, yeah, okay. Let's stick to one item at a time. Yeah, we'll check this down south to see if we can find the boiled dragon scale. Hold yeah, on a second. Again, when Warka's <sighs> face is pointing down, I don't mean south, I mean like physically down, yeah, like lower right. level. Right. We're, we're going south but because we, know we heard the, the king, king up north. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we're going here, going the opposite direction of the king. <laughs> All right. You guys open the door? Door. Doer. D-O-E-R. Doer. Doer. We've not heard any rumblings of anything else alive, questionable or otherwise, in this castle, right? 
not that you know of, no. I was actively listening and didn't hear anything until just now with the game. Doing a lot of active listening lately. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing funny reference. I'm actively listen my foot up, yo. Whoa. Hey, yo. <laughs> Shut your mouth. I'm only talking. I was just about talking about Eastcon. Active listening. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to peek around the corner. Okay. Go ahead, Guys, roll, we the diamond. For me. All right. <laughs> uh. Oh. Is it? Since I'm peeking and not moving, is it flat? Huh? If I'm since I'm peeking, uh, is it a flat roll? Since I'm not moving in my armor, or uh, you are moving in your armor, so okay. it, is a, it is a disadvantage. Yeah. We opening a door or something is just you well, opening something. There's well, no disadvantage, but you're double like eleven. Let's double go. Double eleven. Okay. Uh, slightly. Oh God, why are they so slow? <laughs> I'm gonna reveal here real fast, just to make life easier for me. The king is fifteen feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> The stairs have cover. Finally, a challenge. Guys, 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 come here, come here. He just gestures you to, to, to bunch up with him. I have to stay with East Gun because we light. have to form, form Voltron. All right, so if you look Mechashiva. down there, the st you, we can see the ladders that go up and then the stairs that go down, but it's up to the north where we heard the king. But I don't know if there's gonna be other, if there's gonna be another way down. Monty, mm -hmm. uh, this staircase that we can see, does it, it, it seems to be like in the opposite corner of the other staircase we saw, correct? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, East Gun will say to everybody, given that we're in a castle and we know there's stairs on either side, there might be stairs to the south as well. Like it's some kind of exterior, like like a tower on the outside, it just kind of spirals up and down. That's exactly what I'm thinking. All right, that's a, probably a better idea. All right, I'm gonna go down this way. Well, hey, now, man. pilgrim, time to go My to the name south. Is, not Shane, kid. <laughs> is that a door or just an opening? <laughs> oh. Yes. You see four doors down a hallway. Let me get some hallway. Ah, four doors. And then. And no the dark, the dark vision. Ow. Dork vision. Dort vision. Hmm. You see more hallway continue on. Hmm. Well, our, we are not here to go to funny door room. I'm going to peek this way to see. This hallway seems to curl around the corner. Okay. Uh, very well. I will scurry myself over yonder and take a peek down here. You got it. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah. Will the brothers Valentinius be joining us? Uh, no. I, sh I teleport. <laughs> Hey! It's Whoa! Like you can't do that on stream. It's like hey. when you're walking in a in an RPG and you're you get too far ahead of your companions and they just poof, right next to you. But what it's is like this Halo? Hole. You just poof next to your buddy. Poof, yeah. Hi. Or if it's like Kirby, you just fly there. And just and then you make out because someone ate an item. You have to feed it like a baby bird, Kirby. I am so upset that they changed. I am so upset because they changed that to high fiving, and I'm like, you fucking cowards! Let me make out with my fucking <laughs> little friends. Because it's because all the Kirby. fans kept making fan art that made Nintendo uncomfortable. <laughs> you, you have to feed it to me like a baby bird, Kirby. Despite the fact that you know the act of what Kirby does on the reg isn't creepy enough in itself. <sighs> he's anyway. a, he's an adorable little god killer. Uh, let's make our way to the stairs, then, shall so we? We're gonna go down go... the funny stairs. Are we going down or? Uh, it was down, right? We were going down. down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go down. Mm -hmm. All right. Everyone collect on the staircase and I will move you down to the next floor. Down, down. <laughs> the very nipple of the world. Down, down to Goblin Town. <laughs> down Sugar, to we're river going to down break. swinging. I'll be number one with. How many references can we fit into the staircase? Oh, don't Everyone! even get me started. I got it. Give me 
a second here. I mean, I haven't even made my Kingslayer reference. Kingslayer. Burn it down! Hang on a minute. I gotta just. I'm still sad that we never got the crossover of, like, Def Jam or. Bottom left corner. There we um, go. We never got the crossover of either Death Jam or uh, Snoop Dogg and Kirby's Air Ride. Oh, oh like God! Kirby's Pimp My Ride or something like that. All right, so there. where is is Wark pointing? Uh, he's pointing north. north. All right, to the north. North, north that it is. I'm staying with oh, Iskala. Just realized. Apologies, I'm missing a door on one of my rooms. Give me one second here. Oh no. Aha, uh -huh, I see it. I, I see the door that appeared. Exist. Yeah, I saw ever. That didn't see you know, it. It didn't exist. You know, you. You know Monty tried to like put the door in, but I had already seen everything. Oh, no. By then, I've already seen everything. <laughs> Just like bed knobs and broomsticks. Yeah. But can you see why kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Yes, it's Is full it of because sugar. Monty likes doors? It's full of cinnamon sugar in every bite. Oh. All right, enough I banter. Let's go. I hate but without banter, what are we? <laughs> By God, fear the Captain Crunch Lords. We're just innocent men. <laughs> I, should we just keep following north until warp turns, or? Yeah. I'm so glad I. Yeah, keep moving. Unprepared dark vision today. I'm waiting for everyone else. I don't want to go alone. Get off me. Uh, peek hey, down the hall hey, hey, hey. before the, yeah. You see two sets of double doors as you peek down the hallway. No. Uh, I thought they were dead. Let's keep going north. Is, it, Wark is Wark pointing? Ways. Oh, yeah. He's still pointing north, yeah. Alrighty. Stop, let's go. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> I'm <laughs> invading my space. Tee-hee! Tee-hee! Woohoo! That almost fucking felt like the dome from Half-Life VR. <laughs> you see another hallway with three small <gasps> Wark, going. Always. Come on, man. Wark's still pointing north? He is, yeah. Well, hey. Okay. Damn, son. If... Keep well, exploring, 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 exploring. Oh. What? Well, it's about damn time. Hail Jimmy. Hail Jimmy. We got Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Connor. <laughs> One person. Remembers Tychus Finley. Appreciate I thought it. you were doing uh, what, Sam Elliott. I was. What the I hell, mean, Jimmy? Honestly, that would have been sick. If Tychus Finley was Sam Elliott. You have 120 feet. Can you measure it out to the right for me? Thanks. Sure thing. One momento. King, e King East and Vale's just there. <laughs> yeah, like, <damn> <laughs> <going>. <laughs> 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 Have you uh, seen my pills? Hang on, I, hold I was on, I, looking a off. for my pills. Yeah. Yeah, keep it there. Don't go. Don't, don't get rid okay. of it. I need to measure it out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I was cut off by ten. You see several more doors, and it is at this point that Warp kind of like stops looking and looks towards all of you and just kind of shrugs like, "This is all I got." <laughs> Oh, cool. boy. Cool. Do we each want to tackle a different door? There are five I feel like us, that's a terrible idea, doors. and I'm all yeah. about it. That yeah, seems appropriately that's dangerous. That's the worst idea. I dibs on this door. No, it's uh, I'm staying with Iskon because light. Uh, I'm staying with Gaius because he's large. I, that's I not how I'll... checking a different door works. All right. We'll start with Milo and Gaius. Team Tank. Let's go. Team uh, Tank. This door is unlocked. Uh, and as you open it up, uh, it appears to be servant quarters. Oh. Uh, this room contains a, unless deviated, uh, you see a single person bed, a, a kind of quaint dresser, and a chair. Uh, this room is rather plain and bare. A small painting of a ruined tower hangs on the wall above the bed. The subject is of one stand tower, uh, and what do you do? I would like to search. Okay. Where are you searching? Uh, well, first of all, Mon, is there anything under the bed? You look underneath the bed, there is nothing underneath the bed. Cool. I will search the drawers. Okay. Monsters. As you open up the dresser, uh, you find two sets of common clothes, which are some very quaint-looking dresses. 
Uh, you see one set of a very nice dress. Uh, you see a small lockbox that is locked. Uh, and inside you see a, what appears to be like, you think is like a wooden case, but it's actually a foldable wooden chest set with pieces inside. Oh, neat. Uh, I guess I'll grab the lockbox because there may be, you know, it, it may be in that. We don't know. Monty. Mm hmm. I shift the painting to the side to see if there's anything behind it. Okay, you lift the painting, there's nothing behind it. Damn it. Good thing you know. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Flip the bed. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> Both though. Everything okay in there? Fuck! No! No! It was a lie! All right, Otho, as you open your door. Team Stealth. Team Stealth. Uh, this room contains unfolded clothes draped over the chair. The bed is tossed, and a large oil lantern is hooked next to the bed. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. I'm going to look around. Okay, what do you look at? Uh, this is a desk right here, right? Next to me? No, it is a dresser, like a like a kind of A tall... dresser. All right. Yeah. Uh, there are no desks in this space. Gotcha. I'll, I'll root through it. Okay, as you open up the door, I need you to roll me a dexterity saving throw, please. As an avalanche of books just pours out of the dresser on top of you. I'm sorry, you said the trigger word. Oh. I, I heard the wood oh, book. Oh, it just looks oh. up. Uh, <laughs> it's Ooh. a book of lunch. 18. Okay. You managed to kind of like close the door quickly and show, like move out of the way as like just this, this just avalanche of books falls yeah. on the ground. The one time I'm not with you. I'm okay. No one asked. No hey. one heard. No one cared. The little rat in the corner. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Must tell no one. Mark. Uh, you said there was oil all over the bed. No, there's an oil lantern that's hooked next to the bed. Oh, an and oil as you lantern. and as all the books pour out, you're like, oh, it's a reading light, like a really like makeshift sort of reading light setup. Considering all the books, um, must have belonged to like a. Someone without dark vision, I would have to assume. Uh, uh, I see the peasants. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, he adjusts his, he adjusts his glasses. <laughs> I, I see. My deduction is complete. Yes, commoners. <laughs> the 99%. Uh... Uh, well, I mean, Milo's done it. I might as well check under the bed. All right, check underneath the bed. You don't find anything. <laughs> Except for books. <laughs> Trapped. <laughs> well, I've done my due diligence. All right, Eskan and Kai, as you guys open your room. Team Squishy. Yay. Team Squishy, Squish Squash. Five mimics in are playing poker. Yes, we got a different room. What's our room, Monty? Fuck off, man. I had to pull an all-nighter <laughs> for this shit. I don't want to hear you sass. <laughs> man. I'm enjoying Sorry. it, Monty. Fuck. Listen, Boston. I had to balance it being a dungeon and also potentially being your guys' base, okay? So, fuck I'm off. Happy. Having a good time. I'm so Nobody happy. Said, I, I'm... <laughs> You're, 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 damn, I didn't, okay. Nobody was, I was excited. It's a different room. Well, that was, that was, that's fine. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this room is filled with now dead potted plants, ivy, and sprouts. Uh, this space actually does not have a chair, but instead has a small shelf. Uh, at the top of the shelf is a small crystal affixed to a tall copper mechanism. Huh. Well, yeah, there I go looking again. Sort of tentatively take a step inside. Yeah, yeah. Tank first. Team anxious. And then and shut then the, the front door. We are team squishy. Okay. We are we are team squish squash taking a bath. 
combined, we might have as much HP as you, Milo. So give us a, give us a break. Team coward. Wow. Okay. Uh, Team cautious. <laughs> Listen you know here, Monty? bitch. I'm gonna look under the bed. <laughs> I'm right. also gonna look under the bed. You both look underneath the bed and you find nothing. Cool. All right. We're brave. We deduce that half the room is clear. Let's take the other <laughs> there half. There are no monsters under the bed. Are we able to tell what kind of plants these were, or are they just like <sighs> extra dead? Uh, nature check. Yay! Can I? I want to help him. Can I help him? Yeah, sure. Advantage. Cool. Yeah, I got your back, buddy. Oh, I never remember what the hotkey is for advantage. Uh, it's nature. Nature with an N. That's Control twice. Not. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know who was least helpful in that. Thank you for the advantage. Oh, I got your back, buddy. I know your roles. <laughs> uh, these plants, you see, there's a couple that are like, you know, that are from Eastonvale specifically. Um, very hardy, like kind of like small sprouted plants. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to move your doors here just so we know that those are open. Um, some of them seem to be foreign. Um, some of them appear to be like jungle plants that like probably do well in this environment. Um, but all of them seem to have died. Um, obviously, it's been a year, so from a lack of water. Um, mm. But you're also kind of confused as to how plants were kept in here at all, because there's no windows. And these are all, like, light-needing plants. You said there was a little shelf nearby? Yeah, that's where all the plants are. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know how they would have survived, even if there was someone around to water them. I mean, don't you make plants sprout wherever you want? Mm, not exactly. Hmm. I mean, not wherever I want. I mean, I'm but sure sometimes. it's possible, right? There has to be something. Well, I guess so. Why don't you look on the bookshelf? Yeah, I, I'll take a peek. But you mean the dresser, because there's no that's, bookshelf. There. That's what I meant, yeah. Oh, I was on. rolling with it. A, a, yes, and it was Thank a bookshelf you, for me. <laughs> As you it's open up the dresser, dresser. <laughs> you find uh, a set of like a, a commoner clothes, probably for a man. Uh, and you set you find a set of fine clothes, kind of like a suit. Uh, you also find inside framed a small painting of a of a human woman and a male elf and a child. Oh. Uh, you also find a bag of dried soil and an empty metal watering can uh, and you find a small lock box as well is it uh, locked it is locked yeah damn i well we're stuck uh, yeah nobody can pick that no it's impossible oh my god can we reconvene <laughs> no all right. all right i'll allow it yeah we'll bring it out with us you got it bringing it out do you guys close the door behind you Yes. Hey, also, I found this look box. So did we. Hey, Otho, you can get the locks open, right? I can try. Oh, that's the worst Although, attitude. You're going to get it. We just shove boxes into his hand. <laughs> box. <laughs> I'm just saying these are servants' quarters. I'm not sure what good this will do. The not have the ingredients in them. Mark. I agree. Wa even Wark indeed. <laughs> Get your guidance, by the way. I'm going to guidance both of these if I am I'm, allowed. I'm going to assist him if I'm allowed. Otho rolls his eyes and he pulls out his thieves' tools. He's not wasting the the thing for this. Use the exploding one, you coward. No, it'll cast knock and then he'll know where we are if I fucking roll a one. Believe in the water. Yeah, but what are the odds you're going to roll a one? One in one twenty. 20. Well, there we go. So you're you. good. Help. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go. Wow. <laughs> Open the. Hey. Hey. hey there's a uh, twenty, but it's soft. That's a twenty plus. Fucking child's play. Uh, I'll say you're opening the one that Milo and uh, Gaius found first. Uh, as you crack open the lockbox, it contains a pouch containing two gold pieces. 150 silver pieces, nine copper pieces, and a carnelian ring. Ooh. Mm. Fucking loaded. So, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Still no ingredients. 
he looks pointedly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I get no uh, respect. No respect. Let's let's see if this uh, let's see if this servant's lockbox contains a boiled dragon scale, shall we? It's either that or a bag of miracle grow. So, all right, go ahead and roll for me another <clears throat> sleight of hand. Heirloom from home, maybe. <laughs> That's worse. Plus That's a plus 10. plus plus a two, a twelve. The DC is ten. These are like commoner lockboxes. It's easy. Uh, you crack this one open. Inside you find a pouch containing seven gold pieces, 60 silver pieces, eight copper pieces, and a green eye agate. Ooh, pretty. Hot damn. No wonder thieves do this. This is bloody easy. Well, we still have two more doors. Actually, Let's keep looking. As, uh, as you've moved up, you actually have a few, few more doors. <laughs> Two hundred ah. oh, oh, spread out, spread out. Right, same oh, formation, God. everybody. We got it. Same formation. Let's all... go, teams. There's one door. Well, actually, no. There's, there's. All right. Kai, I think we skipped one, Otho. Yeah, there you go. There I you can't go. see. I was talking to <laughs> Otho. Oh, all right. Wrong, Valentinius brother. All right. But you, you both can't see. You, I have yeah, a he has a lantern. Also, for the for the sake oh. of timing, I all this is happening at the same time, by the way. Yeah, so just yeah, 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 yeah. That. All right, uh, guys, are you going? Three, with two, my one, Logan? breach. Yeah, three, three, two. Well, everyone go at the same time. Open, three, frag, three, and clear two, on one, Zulu. Go. <laughs> C four explodes. All right. Uh, Can I open up? <laughs> let's start with guys. Are you with Milo? Your your token isn't there, so that's why I was asking. Oh, I, I was. I think we were gonna open like every like. Uh, that door is already That's the door. Opened. Yeah, we already explored uh, that. Okay, one. Yeah, yeah, so let's do it. The door, Yahoo. Oh, we have merged. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, all right, Gaius. As you open up this door. Come on, come on, little twenty. Be my friend. Come on, nope. Come on, door, please. This this room contains the same furniture. A painting of dragons hangs on the walls. A painting of a red dragon bearing down on a knight and a portrait of a gold dragon uh, and a framed anatomy diagram of a wyvern are the paintings that hang on this wall. A what are the dragon scales in there? <laughs> a handmade Honestly. stuffed copper dragon sits on the chair cutely. Oh. Sorry, guys. That's my room. Uh, apologies. I'm, I'm, I'm going to check the plush. <laughs> it's very cute. No, no. I... Like, uh, I is there that big the book of dragons there as well? Uh, it seems handmade. It seems to be made with a lot of care. It's like hand crocheted as well. Uh, but you look around it, and it's just a stuffed animal. It's just been sitting there. Is there anything under the bed? You check underneath the bed. Uh, you do actually find something underneath the bed. It appears oh. to be a book, a novel of some kind. Oh my god, is it Those that book of dragons? 10,000 gold. Take it. Yeah, What? what's the uh, novel? You pull it out, and it is called The Bride of Sacrifice, which appears to be a romance novel about a maiden and an ancient bronze dragon. Oh, Tiango's please. been here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, that, that like, actually is my bedroom, guys. I'm sorry. There's, I'm sorry. Also <laughs> a, a, like, there's also a folded piece of paper tucked between some of the pages. I will look at that paper, because, okay. man, paper. It says, do not uh, remove this bookmark. <laughs> 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 well, then that's definitely not your room, because Mark can't remove it. Uh, as you unfold the paper, it is a very quickly scrawled note that says, This seems right up your alley. I had to buy it for you. Dash A. Hmm. Oh my god, it's so good. Uh, what's in the, uh, what's in the cabinets? Or the shelving? Alright, as you open up the cabinets, you find, again, uh, a, yeah, I know that, the Dragonology book. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you find a set, two sets of commoner clothes for a woman. Uh, you also find a set of nice, like a nice dress. You also find hanging uh, on like the door, like the inner part of the door, a holy symbol of some kind. Uh, you also notice that there's another, there's a holy book as well, uh, as well as a uh, a corked bottle with a dragon head topper at the top and a uh, lockbox. Uh, Okay, well, I'm taking the holy symbol, the uh, corked bottle, and the lockbox. May I look at it. the holy symbol? 
and you may sure, have the book as well. Roll a religion check on both the book and the holy symbol. Is it just one roll? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 21. This is a holy symbol of Orthok and a holy book scripture of Orthok, which is the patron god of good dragons. Metallic dragons, specifically. Eight. Wow. Cool. Uh, I'm going to uncork the top and sniff the contents within it. It smells like pure capsaicin. It is like, it smells alchemical and potion-y in manner. It appears to be a potion. Oh, nice. Do any of us know how to test potions without them actually, you know, taking effect? Mm. Identify spell? <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. have that yet. All right, well. Meanwhile. I'm, st I'm still corking it and we'll take this stuff, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll put a pin in that because, you know, maybe. Uh, Otho, uh, it's now your turn. Uh, More right. books avalanche on him. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! God oh, said you go. This room today. is incredibly plain and almost looks unoccupied. Huh. All right. Well, I'll. I'll I'll check the drawer, not a desk. Cautiously, you... I'll, I'll brace myself. <laughs> you brace yourself for nothing, as inside is a set of two sets of Connor's clothes, and interestingly enough, two sets of very nice clothing, uh, and a lockbox inside, and there's nothing else. Hmm. I'll just that lockbox. I'll just pick it while I'm here. Okay, go ahead and roll a uh, sleight of hand check. I'll grab the lockbox in our room. Uh, 13. 13. Yeah, easy enough. You pop it open. Uh, inside is a pouch containing a surprising amount of gold. 121 gold pieces. 31 silver pieces. And 29 copper pieces. I'll just pocket that. No one needs to know about that. I'll close the lockbox and I'll put it wow. back in the drawer. Wow, man, seeds are the worst, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, lawbreakers, man. Uh, I'll do my cursory check under the bed as well. Roll an investigation check for me. me meanwhile, oh, meanwhile, fucking uh, Gaius and Milo are walking out like they're in a fucking like convention out of Artist Alley. This is a DC. You have. Eight. This is a DC 18 check. Also, you're you going to talk, like, you have a dead queen's crown in your fucking 19. back pocket. <laughs> a 19 clutch. That 19 clutch was very good. As you look underneath the bed, you notice that the ground is slightly off kilter, meaning that there's something there. And as you kind of drag, head. As you kind of drag yourself underneath and kind of, you find that one of the stones, like one of the flagstones, is removable. And as you remove it inside, you see an empty vial. And as you kind of take it and look at it closely, it is a vial of what probably once contained a very powerful poison in it that is now empty. Oh. Is there someone in bed? Huh? Is there someone in the bed? No, it's empty. Hmm. Aww. Interesting. Vial of poison. All right, I'll I'll have that, and uh, I'm guessing there's nothing else to see in this room, so I will simply leave. No, nothing else. Escan and uh, Kai, as you go to open yeah. your door, it does not open. Well, oh. is there a keyhole for a key? Uh, no, there is not. Well, fuck. Is it that the door is locked or that there's something blocking the door? Something is blocking it from the inside. Well, I think we might have to force it open. Okay. Here, give me a hand. <laughs> Athletics checks from both of you or one with advantage? I'm going to give it to East Guy with advantage. I don't think you want to give it to me. I will do I'm it. I'm going to give it to you with advantage. <laughs> Can I do acrobatics instead of athletics? No. 
this is a strength thing. He's pushing. This is going to be terrible. All right, here we go. <clears throat> 13. We both have minus one to it. Yep. Shut the fuck both, up. <laughs> both of you, like, kind of push on the door and... Ah! Go ahead and roll another one. Fucking... Uh, I believe in you. It's 11. Jesus. <laughs> the sound. You're just straining so hard but can't get it open. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this until I die. Third I, I, one. You get I, I, three I, while right. everyone else is looking through the room. So this is your third one. Fucking let's go. Be a man. 18. Hey. hey. Ah, I'm hulking up, brother. <laughs> All three of you go. Like, Iskan and, and Kai, you go one, two, three. And you ram. You hear the sound of a, like, a, like almost like a, a broomstick shattering. And as you you rush into the room, uh, you immediately see, like, toppling over is what appears to be a spear that has been just, like, sh like basically split in half and was probably holding the door closed. <laughs> and immediately you see on the bed uh, two leathery skeletal remains lie atwixt each other in embrace on the bed. <sighs> hey, he's gone. Uh, yeah? The tug of war champion of Easton Vale does it again. Yeah. <laughs> That's good work. Uh, do you think they might, you know, be. Um, we should probably check. I'm gonna what the pull out. Looks up. Knock on the door! I'm gonna pull out my staff for whacking just in case. And slowly okay. approach the bodies on the bed. I'm going to cock my fist. <laughs> you have a sword. I'm going to Superman punch it. <laughs> I know what I said. Um, I, I... Can I medicine? I don't know how I would check to see if they're undead. I have no idea. Uh, Based on what we've been told by all of the different enemies that we've had described to us, does this look like anything we've had described to us? They don't look undead. No, they look very dead. Um, so they're just like actually dead? They're just actually, they're dead? actually dead? Regular yeah. dead. It appears to be what appears to be like a female guard and then a male servant. Oh, here's um, a question. Uh, cause of death. Uh, uh, you don't death. know. It's, you don't see any visible wounds, so... Your guess is as good as mine, honestly. I wish we had somebody that was good at medicine, but you know, ah, we are. that's all right. We'll you're doing other out. things. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what else is in the room? Uh, there is a dresser um, and what appears to be like uh, papers just kind of skewn about. Any Anything of note amongst the papers? Uh, no, it just seems like really nice paper, surprisingly. Oh. Like, not, like, for your purposes, like, it's smaller sheets, but, like, for writing, it looks like very nice pieces of paper. You can investigate the dresser, though. Those tend to con contain a lot of things. All right, Bosco, do you want to check the dresser or under the bed? Bed. Okay, I'll Dread. check the dresser then. All okay. Right. E-scan, as you open up the dresser, you see... Uh, a set of common clothes, two sets of fine clothes. Uh, you also see uh, like a small tin container containing sticks of sealing wax. You see a stack of about 20 envelopes unused, as well as 50 sheets of paper in a stack unused. Uh, and you see a small notebook, and as you kind of flip through it, it is filled with, filled with just like kind of bad poetry, but like, you know, ah, uh, they're trying. <laughs> um, mm. And you find a lockbox as well. Well, I will definitely grab the lockbox. Uh, Kai, as you look underneath the bed, uh, you see a, uh, an instrument case. Oh, I'd like to grab that. Okay. As you pull it out, it's like a leather case. As you open it up inside, there's a liar. It's not a nice liar. It's kind of cheap, but it's, it's a liar. I would like to take it. Okay. You take the liar. Can we take the truther instead? <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I was Thank waiting you. for it. Thank you. Reconvenience time, or...? I return to the group with another lockbox. As do Door. I. As do Doors we. closed? Yes. Yeah. Can I get out? I just got, like, a little glass file in my hands. Hey, hey, Otho, Otho. <clears throat> uh, 
Lockbox. I got one too. Uh, also, there were a couple of bodies in that room. Yeah. They they didn't seem to be undead, but you know. Uh, also, the door was kind of jammed up with like a spear. What, what's everyone's reaction to Gaius walking out with a dragon plush in his arms? <laughs> I don't know. Fine. What's your reaction to Kai having a leather bag? You've, you've been stealing things since we got here, so... It's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you look Par like a completely the different person with all the different <laughs> just, from all. Just sh shakes his head disapprovingly, but he, uh... He'll... He'll, um... <laughs> He'll, he'll cock his eyebrow. Dragons, hmm? Yeah. Let me see your lockbox first. Okay, I also found this. I hold up the potion. Don't know what's inside of it, though. Hmm. Could be useful. Smells like it. Let, it's alchemic. Let me have a go at this lockbox. <laughs> Natural word. Ooh. Yeah, this good thing hard. I didn't use my funny thing. Yes, yeah, it's good. As you kind of like fidget, you have advantage because isn't your brother helping you? I do. I have uh, been helping you. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I would have given you guidance as well. Let's yeah. a go. Let's, Another let's a go, bro. One. Oh Let my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Hold on, wait. Guidance might give you a 10. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a <laughs> one. A you one is a one. On skill checks. I'll roll it real. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah, natural one with a 10. <laughs> natural 10, All baby. Right. Connor, if you roll another fucking one. <laughs> okay. Uh, it takes a lot of foot angling. It takes you a long time to get this thing open, and you're just fuck, shit, just kind of working with it as you're all standing there in the hallway. Eventually, fucking finally, you crack it open. Uh, it takes way too much time. Uh, inside is... Two gold pieces, 80 silver pieces, two copper pieces, and a singular red dragon scale. Let's oh. go! Oh, does it yeah. does it look as if it has been boiled? No, it is like dry and oh my all right, we gotta boil it. We gotta boil this. We gotta uh, boil we're gonna it. Need, we're gonna need Milo Let's to go to the out. kitchen, y'all. Yeah, where's the, the bucket? Prep time on a, on where's a the bucket? Scale? Where's the kitchen? Let's go. Well, we know where the lab is. So yeah, let's I've been in the lab with a pen and a pen. the lab again. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, the there goes Rhapsody. Up oh, there goes Mom Spaghetti. All right. Great. We still got other components to look for, too. So hold we on. So need... we got two out of four. We still need a crushed unicorn horn and mithril filing. Well, let's open the other lockbox. Right. We still got other things to look for. Yeah, but maybe we'll get lucky. The lockbox okay. of the poet. Wait, wait a minute. Okay. Wouldn't technically the teleportation circle we came on have mithril filing? Do we want to destroy that? I wouldn't. Work looks at you, Gaius, and just you can see a visible sweat drop when you even suggest that. Like... <laughs> hey, eight intelligence. Is this gonna get you to say something different? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna you wanna play you wanna play chicken with me? Cause I, I I'll kill a chicken. God. I've killed plenty of them. I Open played. the box. <laughs> I have. Uh, that is a 14. 14. Easy enough. You kind of, this one's like, you're so done with the other one, but you, and you're like uh. kind of proud because you finally got the component, though it took a lot of like swearing and a lot of God damn it. But uh. eventually you open up this other one. Uh, and this one contains a very simple uh, five gold pieces. Two silver pieces and fourteen copper pieces. Who's and keeping track of the gold? I got a pair tree. Cool. However, oh. as part of the trade-off for getting, even though you got a natural one, you did succeed in opening that lockbox. There was a penalty to this. Uh -oh. uh -huh. As you all open up the lockbox and take the coinage, the sound of you fumbling attracted attention. And as you are all kind of like, yes, we got the we got the dragon scale. You then see. <laughs> coming around the corner, dragging its sword behind it, turning the corner. Oh. His majesty. Oh. oh. And I'm gonna okay. show his art to you. Oh, oh cool. my god. Oh god. Uh, that, oh, oh my god. Oh. god. 
You're beginning to realize why there are no dead bodies around anymore. Yeah. Uh... And as he sees you and the eyes kind of catch you, all of your hearts sink for a brief moment. And as you hear Wark and you watch as Wark just runs the other direction, just starts <laughs> galloping away. And as all of you stand there, dragon scale in hand, that is where we're gonna end this session for tonight. Oh so, god. Yeah. Oh, I'm following that okay. Warky boy. Thanks, that's, Jack. <laughs> this is oh, art by that art jack. Horrifying. <laughs> Holy shit. What a cool I'm, guy. I'm, uh, I'm, meow. <laughs> For those listening on the podcast, you see what appears to be the king with almost like this, I don't even know what you would call it, like this bulging mane of flesh with all of these faces just kind of absorbed into him. Multitude of arms come out, almost like a sort of like spider. Three singular arms hold on to a massive claymore sword as tattered clothing, similar to the jacket that Gaius had found, lies tattered like sort of a waist cape. Uh, and long, scraggly hair kind of runs down with gray streaks, and these sunken, hollow eyes with a glowing moat come out. It's of a note that the same sort of glow you've seen on Lynn. Uh, but yes, we shall see you all next session, as you have been found, unfortunately. That is... Uh -oh. that, that's it's horrifying. It's time to run. Yeah. The same way as <laughs> Hang on. is going. Hang on, let me just... Oh god, will this even will this even load in our chat here? I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna upload a, a... here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we should fucking leave. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Agreed. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye, Austin. Bye, Bye Austin. Austin. Indeed. Oh. Your nightmares be not as bad as mine will be. I I can't oh. believe we we gotta wait. So yeah, well we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Cause we're gonna have to wait, but uh, uh, yeah, because Zito's moving, so we're not gonna actually have a session next week. So yeah, well, we're leaving on we a doing. cliffhanger. Yeah. You know what we are doing is a funny little suggestion uh, that I brought up. Uh, is that uh, some of the people that are that are in this call right now are going to get together and we're going to play a little round of Dungeons and Dragons Trivial Pursuit. Oh shit! Non-cheating edition. I don't Wait, know what that yeah, means. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> that means don't look up the answers. Yeah. Indeed. That's, uh, uh, Jack, you crushed it with that picture, dude. That's oh yeah, I, yeah. I'm yeah. Genuinely does amazing like, work. I was genuinely like, oh fuck. He did this as kind of a rush order too, as well. <laughs> so thank you so much, Jack. You absolutely nailed it. I feel so bad. He's like, hey, can we have time to talk this week to like go over? I'm like, nope. I'm like, I gotta just send you this image, and you need to just run. I'm so sorry. So yeah, Jack is Jack is amazing. Thank you so much, Jack. Oh. Wait, I got it. What? It's it's <laughs> so stupid title. Everybody, Wark the dinosaur. I was right, I, I was thinking of I was thinking <laughs> of the name getting to Wark. There's also yeah. there's, there's also Wark this way. Wark that's that's this also way. Good. Exactly. Tark this way. Oh. <laughs> also, Bracky, I, I, shut up. I know I need to go to bed. I'm tired. Gonna, My brain's gonna, shutting I, down. I also, I, I did need accreditation, but I actually drew work. I wanted to draw that personally. Yeah, that guy. yeah, he's so I, cute. He's so cute. I I had him sketched out. I shit you not, before like the majority of the campaign was done, I'm like, I want them to have this guy. He's cute, dude. I mean, now the logo <laughs> makes the whole so campaign much sense. Out of this. Yeah. yeah, the logo makes so much sense. Uh, well, let's let's go ahead and, and uh, let's go ahead and do our outro so Gaijin can get out of here. Yeah. Uh, Let's start with you, Gaijin. Where can they find you, and what are you up to? I'm shitting mercilessly, because yikes, God, Jack. I, I, you know, I thought I, I was like, oh, this is this is a little, this is a little uh, Elden Ringish. No, it's worse. It's um, worse than that, yeah. It is worse. Uh, Twitch TV slash Gaijin Goomba Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. Uh, just finished up Crab Champions. It is fun. 
I'll probably get back on Pokemon Bushido or uh, I know there was a there's an expansion dropping for Ghostwire Tokyo. Hopefully it I'm really excited. It may do something more than just go go place do mission, but uh, I'm I'm pretty excited for it. Um, as soon as that drops, I'll play it. There is a new video up on the channel. I dropped it last Sunday. If you are a fan of Demon Slayer, and I know Demon Slayer Season 3 just dropped, um, I did a good, hard Witch Ninja look into Tengen Uzui, and man, it's one of my favorite bait-and-switch episodes I've ever put together. But there's a lot to, to take in, so check it out if you haven't. Okay. Right on. Uh, we've got... Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Protect Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life uh, Yeah, uh, I'm working on a lot of anime and stuff lately. Uh, doing a lot of directing, which is really cool. Uh, I got some cool stuff to announce just, like, on the horizon. So, like, maybe after this weekend I might be able to announce some of it. Uh, but for now, mum's the word, unfortunately. Um, also, uh, just for the friends in YouTube who commented on that short from a long time ago where there was a bit because Connor said Bosco had a website. I have a website, too, markallenjr.com. Uh, you can what? find it as a nice hub with, like, uh, my resume. It's got samples of my work. It's got uh, storm chasing <clears throat> pictures. It's got links to my music. So if you want an easy place to find it and if Twitter just, you know, bursts into flames... MarkAllenJr.com. Check it out. That's it. I just want to... I don't want to interrupt, but uh, Jack was in the live channel, and when the art was posted, he said, Have fun, fuckers, XD. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck oh, you, Jack. Also, you can find him on twitch.tv slash that rjack and at that rjack hey, on Twitter. You can get a commission from him. You can get a commission oh, from him. You can get a speed paint from him. You and I'm, I'm genuinely going to have service. nightmares tonight, so thank you. Yeah, fuck that guy. I just thought that we should, we should fucking leave. Yeah, we should. <laughs> we, we, we should. We should go. <laughs> welcome to the castle. Welcome to the castle of Amalgam Kings. Uh, you like to check I was out. Waiting, I was waiting for you guys to be like, "Why are there no bodies anywhere?" I was just waiting for you guys to ask. I was. Yeah, no, really, we kind of I mean, got the, the hint. Feeling. I think we got the hint. Yeah, the the, the history vision of the guy not like dying, but when he died, but didn't die. Thing. Well, no, that, yeah. that was in the back oh, of my he, head. He got just, grafted. Like, he just yeah. got straight up absorbed. Oh god, and we just oh we just opened the way for him to get two more bodies too. Yeah, we did. But Welcome not if we kill island. him first. <laughs> We're not killing him Welcome now. To, <laughs> Welcome to the castle of Amalgam Kings. Want to check out the penis explosion chamber? We should fucking leave. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> leave. <laughs> Mark. Oh god. But yeah, that's me and Jack as well, apparently. Yeah. Uh, Zito, where can they find you? And what are you up to when you're not moving? You can find me on twitch.tv slash Zito, but I would actually recommend that you all check out this cool, funny Patreon post that I made public detailing what I'm currently up to date with comic-wise, D&D tabletop-wise. And also, I announced that I might be doing a new secret project uh, that I'm going to be, uh, well, not really secret anymore, because I can just pretty much say it here. Uh, people keep telling me, uh, well, Zito, we think you would do good in doing a video game like project of some sort. I'm like, all right, fuckers, bet. Uh, as soon as I'm in a stable condition, I'm getting a, a bunch of what? Sorry, there's a there's a fucking wiki page for Wark, and it's great. Oh, like, oh, wow, that was this. fucking fast. Here you, no, here you go. You're gonna see why. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, In, informative. Uh, good. Incredibly informative. <laughs> Age, Wark, race, Wark, class, Bean. I like how it's got numerical one through five work, number two work, work, three work, four work, exclamation it's work with an exclamation work. point. Yeah. Oh, I also like oh. halfway down, there's like a work with a question mark. Oh, this is so well done. I just died. I had to mute. Have I was you coughing. seen all of the fan art for work, by the way? I haven't. No. I oh my haven't. god. There's a, there, someone made an icon, like a, a, an emote for us to put in chat, like to use for <laughs> chat. We should get a, we'll get a work emote, I'm sure, for the, for the actual... It's like, already done. Uh, it's already done. It's there. 
Oh shit! All right. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> oh. Go the fan art. It's uh, there. Finish your thought, Zeta. Sorry, buddy. No, Mark is there. Who cares? I care. All right. No, it's well. Uh, Bosco, where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me watching the Bulls on Friday and then right back here on Wednesday. I see. Uh, and Monty, where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me at Monty Blue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Blue. I'm going to fucking stream. This, this castle took me so long to make. Like, so fucking long to make. You have no idea. So now that I it's done and it's you guys can see it with your eyeballs, I'm I'm gonna stream so much. I wanna stream so badly. <sighs> okay. Right on. Uh and I guess they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash distortion devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh yeah gonna be finishing up deus ex gonna be uh also uh, working my way slowly through uh wait no got it backwards we're working my way slowly through deus ex gonna be finishing up judgment soon hopefully indeed uh yes but other than that this episode was brought to you in part by die hard dice I didn't actually roll a whole lot today. That was, you know. Well, we'll fix that we'll, next session. Probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order when you shop at dieharddice.com. Uh, also, check out our brand new lies aspect dice uh official dice brought to us from our friends at dieharddice.com uh brain farting um <laughs> uh yes subs. also uh, well yeah check out our store as well uh um, that too yeah, store link. You can buy some t-shirts, buy some stuff with some Unexpectables related designs on it. Um, yeah, and, and now I'll read off some business notes. <laughs> uh, we left off with a 12,000-bit donation, if that helps you. Uh -huh. Also, can I have like 30 seconds because I just have to say something because I'm a nerd? Yeah. And a geek and a sports job. Okay, so 30 seconds, go. Uh, so DR DeRozan, who is DeMar DeRozan's daughter, was off of school today because she begged DeMar to take her to the game. She screamed 36 times and they missed 18 free throws. They shot 50% from the line. So I just, the fact that this kid was screaming on every free throw was amazing. It was great. <laughs> every highlight has her just ah! in the background. It was so good. That's, uh, that's 30 seconds. I'm done. Excellent. Um, let me try to find this bitch drop here. Uh, I'm going to refresh this page. Because unlike Streamlabs, Stream Elements actually has all the freaking things on it. Here we go. Uh, you, said it, you said it was 12,000? 12, 12,000, correct. Yeah. Uh... Morthor and Orthic of the 100 bits. You missed my last bits, so here we are again. Episode title, Alone in the Wark. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 49 bits. Uh, Protoss 103, thank you for the 5 bits. Uh, Colonel is cooler, Connor, fight me. Oh. Um, uh, oh no, that was, that was in reaction to me, reacting to them. Uh, no, he's not. Uh, but thanks for your wrong opinion. Uh, Blackwing oh, Hellkite, thank you for the 1,000 bits. No bits, just message. Wait a second. Crit Scratch, thank you for the 10 bits. 
this game is moving at warp speed. Deathhawk down. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. Bits to get Greckles a new harmonica. Man, that's a uh, callback. Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits. We appreciate the hard work, Monty. Just don't forget to give yourself some R&R. &R. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decompress like a tire losing its air. I think I'm mm. done. <laughs> um, I'm happy I'm done though. I like it's like it's not like to say it was like oh what a trial, but I'm like I'm happy I, I finished it and got it done in time. But it like it took a lot of time. Like yeah. this past week was just like no no fun allowed. Like or I mean, it was fun to make, but it was like you know no doing other things until it was done basically. Had a couple breaks, uh killer chancy thank you or oh uh protoss 103 think of the five bits arkov told us a funny story about how his character died in shadow's stream early this morning darn darn it moment right there 23 months of prime from Antelaris. I think it'd be cool if you all take the group name the Five Kings of Easton Vale spelling. Uh, shortening it to Five Kings, it'll be a massive flex on every other mercenary group. Indeed, it would be cool, but now that you've said it, we can't do it. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 50 bits and the additional 58 bits. My Chemical Necromance, thank you for the 20 <laughs> That's so good! That's fantastic. What a great name. That's fantastic. Uh, 1,498 bits from Blue Decoder. I need to sleep. It's six in the morning. Uh, catch you. Catch the rest later. Good luck. Sorry you're morbing. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the... Oh my god, there's 45 bits. There's 74 bits. There's 60 bits. Axios Riot, thank you for the 31 months. 31 months, if only I could sub with Electrum. Dice Ruler, thank you for the four bits. Happy birthday, Connor. It's not a birthday, it's just Homestuck. Uh, Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. I've only known Wark for a single session, but if anything happens to them, I'd Wark everyone here and then myself. Uh, teleport? Mm. <laughs> you teleport. better Wark. I'll teleport inside my own chest. Not Fart again. Reaver MP3, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, episode title, Time to Get to Wark. Uh, 32 months of prime from Metalepsis. Quick, someone rest at a bonfire. If we rest fast enough, we can reset the boss. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh... Drago soon, thank you for the 100 bits episode title Ingress at the Castle, Work Edition. Someone, someone, suggest, someone suggested one that's like, we should working leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zenlita, uh, episode title A Work Through the Castle, the 100 bits. Bob, Bob, too. thank you for the 500 bits. Definitely scarier than the last undead king you fought. Maybe Correct. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tarisk X Machina, think of the 100 bits episode title. Bark, has Taylor gone too far? Um, oh, come out. Bubba Bob with the 500 bits episode title. Undying Love. Ooh. That was also good. Ooh, that's pretty good. Crit Scratch, thank you for the 10 bits. Episode title, Warking Rise. Callum Draws, thank you for the 20 bits. Episode title, Kingdom of One. Jet Knight Gaming, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Title suggestion, Interesting Places. Hmm. Uh, Gauze 21, thank you for the 3 bits. It's free. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the 45 bits and the additional leap bits. You don't have to call it on my cup ammo bits. Thanks, though. Yeah. We, well, we love you, Blackfoot Fair. We're going to do it anyway because you're nice. Dice, 
Dice Ruler, thank you for the two bits. And X Wiley Willy, thank you for the 100 bits. Bulwark Brigade, let's go. Oh, fuck, that's good. Bulwark, Bulwark Brigade. Oh, that's kind of that's pretty cute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's 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 all of them. Oh man, what do we want to do? That's all I got. Detail? There's there's so many good ones. There are a lot of good ones. We need to sift through them. We'll have one for you by next week, though. Yeah. For sure. Is there any that call out to you guys in particular? Bulwark Brigade. I did see Four. someone say I wouldn't walk 500 miles, which I thought was. Really <laughs> <laughs> it's a little long, but that's it pretty is, cute. But it is funny. I like Bulwark we should walk and leave, but like, I, I honestly like Bulwark Brigade. Yeah. Yeah. I I so, like walk this way, but Bulwark Brigade is also good. It's good because it doesn't give away that walk yeah. yeah. immediately. Mm -hmm. The bit, you know what I mean? It yeah. does, but it doesn't. Yeah. All right, I'll write that one down then. All right. Alrighty. Do we want to raid? Uh, well, uh, we've we got Pharaoh. Mr. Rabbit. I was about to say Mr. We Rabbit. We do have Rabbit. Yeah. You want to raid Rabbit? Let's raid, Let's raid Rabbit. Rabbit. I think I know what the raid message is. I think I know what the raid message is going to be. Yeah, it's, it's Wark. Gonna be it's Wark. Yeah, it couldn't be anything but Wark. I forgot. I want to shout out Brett. Uh, Brett's Kickstarter. I'll do it next week. Brett. Brett has a Kickstarter up, but he. I think he got fully funded. But oh, it's oh, beyond. Yeah. Full, it's beyond fully funded. Yeah, I got super funded, but yeah. Fucking anyway, fish. He needed ten. He got eighty. Last I looked. Jesus. Yeah, he's good. Well, you don't have to work, but you can't work here. All right. All right. Message will be work. See you all uh, next week for some trivia pursuit and the week after that for the next session. <sighs> Did it too. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. I mean, work. Work. Or fork, fork, fork.